and I may have underestimated my beverages. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Kovic already entered the the stream with his beverages because. <laughs> Yeah, he and, and that's why I always have a beverage. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> we are uh, on the red uh, team, no? <laughs> Both of us. <laughs> I don't. I don't know about uh, Kovic. <laughs> no advertising. No advertising. <laughs> so, uh, oh no, no, no! I, I I just had a bottle. I didn't notice. I was showing. The... <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, we are gonna finish this uh, one tonight, I hope. <laughs> we, we have uh, uh, big plans for uh, the next stream, so we need to finish it tonight. Uh, Neko confirmed that uh, he has uh, more time for uh, tonight, so well, I guess we'll finish it. <laughs> <laughs> with with a little asterisk is um as you know i am an it admin into articles and today is september 1st and guess what just started in belgium the school year so it's possible i will look at the end of the stream like this it's becoming a, a habit no <laughs> fair point <laughs> um <laughs> Okay, so uh, we are uh, pretty close uh, in terms of uh, last stream. Uh, we still have uh, four levels, so it should be doable. Even for oh, I exit the game. <laughs> uh, one moment. So it should be doable even for me. <laughs> Does it take too long to boot? Uh, My man, don't don't undersell yourself. You you are more skilled than you let yourself on. Uh, thank you, Nicole. Cool. I appreciate. It. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, everything uh, is looking good. So we are in the sanctuary the of Sire. screen. What? Yeah. A full <laughs> screen for you, for the commentators. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess we are uh, exactly at the beginning. We should be. Yeah. Just uh, um, I will uh, lower a bit my light also. Now we had some preamble and pre-stream. Let me say hi to Chris and Camaro who are in chat. Uh, welcome. Hello there. Welcome, Hello there. Chris Camaro. Um, and I told, Camaro... uh, okay, yeah, no, I wanted to say that, uh, uh, I told you to, that, uh, I trained myself with the unfinished business, but on PC. Uh, so I managed to finish that one after 27 years. <laughs> it was the only official, uh, game, uh, featuring Lara, uh, which I didn't, uh, finish which uh, I didn't finish until now. And now the strangest sentence will ever be said. The unfinished business is, is finished. finished. <laughs> now, uh, something I wanted to talk is I saw that um, Camaro had a lot of stuff happening in, in his real life. Um, from one guy to another who has a lot of stuff going on in his real life. I feel you, man. Best of luck. That was extremely good AI there. Yeah, I, I was saying stuck boy, but Kovic said the same thing, but in a different way. Now, I have to say, knowing how old this game is, this still looks damn impressive. And it's not even like an RTX upscale or remake or things we are playing? Uh, well, it is uh, another version. I mean, it's Open Lara, which uh, Agreed, brings some but, uh, improvements. But, 
but apart from some visual improvements to the models, it's not like it um, suppressed textures and uh, well, it's not a remake as you um, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, I feel you. Uh, I I think I've already uh, tell you that uh, told you that uh, for me it's the best uh, game in terms of looking that I've played on the Xbox Classic, and uh, I mean the feeling that uh, it has it's uh, wonderful. Yeah, on a CRT, after, I mean. After... Halo fans in shambles. True. After I um. Well, I don't know if I have told the story how I how my Xbox 360 entered my collection, but if I have, here's a TLDR. Um, is sometimes I go to my local game store to sell uh, to sell <laughs> to buy <laughs> secondhand games, and. Uh, when I was walking out, one of my, um, well, uh, I, I know it's co-workers, but it's a co-student, like somebody in my class when I was still uh, going for my bachelor in computer science, uh, wanted to walk in with a whole full box, like a whole almost banana box that big with his Xbox 360. And almost. Oh, that's a locked filled. door. I would save this crystal for later. Okay. For for that door when it opens. So the, the next crystal up ahead would be if you can drop down next to the Sphinx. Probably backtrack to the Sphinx and drop from there. There are some very nice slopes at the uh, on the sides of the Sphinx, so you shouldn't die. If you go go from the Sphinx's back and then go left, pretty much. True. Uh, in this uh, direction, I mean, no. Here. No, from from the Sphinx itself. I don't know if here is a safe drop, but if you uh, stand it, on on the it, Sphinx it and then seems, just slide from its side. It seems safe in this one also. I mean that Let's platform see. definitely, but then uh, about dropping down to the very surface uh, of this large I... cavern. I totally see how your PC Lara experience is now screwing you a bit over. Uh, I think okay, what, what uh... we were trying to do there would have worked on PC. I mean, uh, there's no difference in terms of controls. Uh, uh, other okay, than the I, fact that I can use I, the stick uh, on this point, part. I, to be honest, I thought that were anyhow. Um, Speaking about stick controls, I, I tried the Tomb Raider 4 in two different versions, the PlayStation and the Dreamcast. And in both versions, they support the stick. On the PlayStation, it was actually the first Tomb Raider to have analog support. But it's it feels very different. Because on PlayStation, if you just do a mild press of the stick. Lara does uh, her walking animations. Whereas on Dreamcast, the stick is just running. And to walk, you use the D-pad. Because they don't have a button, a dedicated button for a walk modifier. Whereas on PlayStation, they do. So it actually, the PlayStation experience, the analog experience, ends up being worse. Because uh, as you're you know, changing direction, you will input the walk animation for a split second and just disrupts her entire animation cycle because the game was not made for that, for a smooth blending of walking and running. So it kind of sucks in my opinion. On Dreamcast, it's it plays fine because you I am, have just running. I'm just getting a headache from you, from just explaining it. I'm like, why? It sounds broken. It works as it's, as intended, just it's not very good design. <laughs> yeah, true. So I, I would definitely not use uh, analog controls on PlayStation, but on the Dreamcast, it 
it's pretty fine. Just the only problem with the Dreamcast version is it doesn't emulate well, at least not on the Flycast. Because it, it, in the boot screen it says it was made with Windows CE, which was a sort of Windows support that Sega made for Dreamcast. It was probably so, Windows to eight, edition. Uh, probably console edition, it means. Uh, <laughs> I think it was uh, for porting games. Because correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's some sort of Dreamcast keyboard and mouse as well that you can yeah, use. Yeah, I, I I remember so from seeing from skeletons from fighting. I I if we both have the same fake memory, I am like ninety percent sure that that exists. I think for almost every console from the PS. One era or PS2 era on, uh, we got keyboards in some shape, way, or form. Yeah, and I don't... very niche, though. Yeah, and I don't mean on screen keyboards, I mean, literally <laughs> mean physical keyboards. Yeah, so, um, I think that the, the Dreamcast version of DR4 is. In a very literal sense, a PC port that they made work for the Dreamcast. And the side effect of that is that in Flycast, they don't really support games made like that yet very well, so it just runs sluggish. Uh, I think on the real hardware, it would run better. It, uh, it is uh, improved uh, compared with the PC. It's the same situation like. Uh, uh, Soul River. I mean, for example, you have um, Shadows. It's the most obvious uh, uh, difference between uh, the PC and Dreamcast. And uh, uh, they are pretty nice on uh, Dreamcast. The Shadows. I think on real hardware the game would run fine, but because of the technology used, it doesn't emulate well. Unlike Soul River, because Soul River was made as a, as a native Dreamcast game the Dreamcast port, so it emulates at locked 60, it runs wonderfully. Okay, I will use this crystal because... Yeah, yeah, this is the one. <laughs> now, I realized I haven't finished my Xbox story, Is um, so I saw that guy uh, walking into, well, about to walk into the game store to sell his uh, Xbox 360 with uh, I might be wrong, um, but somewhere up around between 20 to 30 games and uh, three controllers, uh, the Xbox 360 remotes, a lot of accessories too. And I was like, hey, I, I might want that for my collection. So everything being said, I pay 150 euros for it. Um, and then I actually realized I barely know what's saying about Xbox and Xbox 360 games. So I started looking into it and like... Ah, uh... oh, God. <laughs> That's a very lucky save. <laughs> Who saw that coming? Now, there... Don't shoot me, Xbox fans. But besides Halo and Gears of War, what is there for the Xbox? Not a lot. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't think the Xbox ever was an exclusive machine. True. But the Xbox was the better machine, usually in terms of how the games performed and uh, nowadays uh, I'm actively looking for uh, 360 games which are uh, backwards compatible on Xbox Series X uh, they are the best versions I mean you can play all games in 4k uh, all games including from Xbox Classic I mean we've played Indiana Jones and Emperor's Tomb on Xbox Series X and uh, also a lot of the Xbox 360 games. 
Yep. From the from the first one, Microsoft always tried to target uh, having the best hardware. Yeah. They never really did exclusives. That that's Sony or Nintendo doing that. I, Although I, it's changing now with Microsoft buying so many game studios. Yeah, I I know a few uh, 3D platformers that are slash were exclusive to the Xbox, and then are the two Blinks games. Yeah, uh, it's, it's it's a bit strange, uh, Neko, that you bring this subject uh, today. When they just released one of the their biggest exclusivities, <laughs> Starfield. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know that it was an exclusive. I wasn't keeping up with Starfield at all. Yeah, it's a Bethesda game, so they own it. Yeah. Okay. And now it's exclusive because uh, of that. Oh, speaking about Bethesda, have you read the other article that was going around? Like, um. When they announced the Elder Scrolls Six like four years ago, and now just started development. Kovish, can I make this jump? Let's avoid one more. Death. <laughs> uh, I mean, you pulled the lever already, so you could just drop down the other side with a grab and not die. Uh... And I don't think you wouldn't. Uh... Take a lot of damage. Now okay. the the edge behind you. Uh, there a, there a, you a would platform. die. But, oh boy! What? Teleporting. They're we all... not very aggressive on this. In on PlayStation, they f like to fly right in my face. Uh, yeah, in this uh, in. Uh... The unfinished business, I observed also the differences between this port and the original in terms of uh, uh, now, AI for the enemies. Speaking about exclusives and Xbox, Chris is saying something in chat um, that the new Indiana Jones game will be Microsoft exclusive too, but knowing Microsoft, it will be Xbox PC exclusive. I mean, all the... Uh, even Starfield, it's... Uh, on PC, yeah. On PC. There is no Xbox game that uh, isn't on PC. That's a rule. Yeah, that... then... They explain have to only uh, console specific. Am... Then explain to me why should a gamer buy an Xbox besides uh, a glorified media player? I, I already uh, tell, uh, told you a reason for, for me. It's the main reason, the backwards compatibility. And the second uh, is, uh, if you are a collector, it's the, some of the games the are in the physical form only on uh, Xbox. Okay, let me... Right. Also, if you're just a consumer, buying a console yeah. is cheaper than buying an equal PC. And uh, you have also that uh, Game Pass. Which is a thing. By the way, uh, this game is available day one on Game Pass. Yeah, they they changed the the trial version though, like the trial pass that was there. They they changed it before release of Starfield so that you couldn't uh, get get the pass cheaper. Uh, that now trial we get of a music uh, trigger. A one dollar uh, for the first three months yeah, that or one. something. Yeah. <laughs> I used that one a few times because it reactivates uh, from time to time. The reason that I'm uh, not using uh, Game Pass is uh, collecting. I prefer to buy the games in the end. So um, I don't use Game Pass because mostly I'm afraid for... I call it the stacking subscription pain since you will start stacking so many subscriptions and before you know it you spend like 300 bucks a subs for subscriptions a month and that is too much oh yeah uh speaking about subscription one of the subscription that uh, uh i'm fighting uh <laughs> between the quotations and notes <laughs> with my wife uh, is netflix subscription because we don't really use it anymore. Uh, 
but <laughs> after I finished unfinished business, I was looking uh, on the list uh, of games with uh, Tomb Raider because I'm using the IMBD for uh, marking the games that I'm uh, finish uh, because all the games are on in uh, IMDb site and uh, you can mark mm -hmm. that uh, you can add them to your watch list <laughs> let's say and um, I was entering there to to add this one unfortunately the in this case it wasn't present the um, expansion pack only the main game but anyway I found out that uh, this year was released a new Tomb Raider game, you know? Uh, yeah, I read about it. Wasn't it a phone game or something? Uh, yes, and it's released on by Netflix. Netflix games. Uh, yeah. So if you have a Netflix uh, subscription, you can pay, uh, you can uh, play the game. The game name is Tomb Raider Reloaded. I, and... I, I don't know. I think I might have... Uh, read about it when I did my yearly end of the year articles uh, last year. Uh, but then read it is a mobile game, and I was like, nope. What's the gameplay? Uh, mm, it's. Uh, I shall Google Kovic. The, Kovic. I shall the usual uh, mob mobile game, which uh, isn't possible to be playable uh, on a big screen, unfortunately. Because some of the mobile games uh, I'm, I want to play, usually I try to play them on Nvidia Shield uh, mm -hmm. to buy them uh, from the store, but uh, not all of them are available to play on, on a TV screen. Uh, how to explain the gameplay just in words is uh, let me just say it's like um, a top down runner sort of game where you sometimes need to stop to fight all the enemies and the fighting is automated I mean, you shoot. Uh, you don't need to press any button to shoot. <laughs> you just need to uh, uh, stay put. So when you Which... stay put, uh, uh, she is uh, shooting. <laughs> Which is can consider be a good and a bad thing since it's on mobile. Since think just of how much screen real estate would be obscured with your thumbs if you have to have a moving button and a shooting button. I mean, that's there. there is one reason I didn't play or didn't even follow up or interested in mobile games is um, to, because of two big reasons. One of the big reasons uh, for mobile games is um, just list me the amount of good mobile games without either having microtransaction or ads until you can't take it anymore. Like every fucking click you do, you have an ad. Uh, <clears throat> this one uh, initially was released in episodes or something like that during 2020, 2021, and uh, it had microtransactions. But now it's uh, free of this stuff. This edition, Thanks, I mean. Well, if it's... Uh, I found a, a reason to keep <laughs> my subscription <Yeah. laughs> uh, for uh, Netflix for the moment. Or, or, or another reason you have that stupid life system bullshit some games pull, like you need to wait X amount of minutes to refill your life. Because you failed, and then they make the level so freaking hard, or program the RNG so badly, you have to buy things. And the game basically becomes a Skinner box. I'm sorry, but the Swings' head looked a bit goofy that when you were walking towards it. Ah, it looks even goofier. 
Because there is no sky. What they shooting? There is a flyer right there. Come on. You could probably ignore it unless it yeah it really gets close. <laughs> With how non aggressive they are in this. Are you actually taking damage from those explosions? Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, and we a slightly uh, tricky diagonal jump. You cannot grab it because it's uh, the angle is too acute. So you need uh, a running jump for that, I think. Chris is saying the in-game sound is missing, but are you hearing it, Chris, or is it too silent? Maybe. I hear it just fine here in the screen share. Uh, maybe on the. Yeah, screen? no, 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 no. Chris can hear it. Chris can hear it. it was just an oopsie. Was the Shinopsy indeed? Uh, well, when uh, the Elgato loses uh, signal, uh, you also lose the image and sound, of course. Yeah. What is up with that anyway? Is the cable loose or something? Uh, I, I didn't uh, check. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, uh, it's uh, I mean, uh, it's a mess there. <laughs> Having all the consoles uh, put together, uh, I tried a lot of uh, switches for the scarts, and uh, they are not that good. Even if I paid uh, almost one hundred dollars for uh, two of them. <laughs> uh, hugs and retro, uh, hugs and retro game collector. Damn it! I know that pain so bloody well. For me, it's uh, even harder because. <clears throat> Uh, if I would play the game directly on uh, an LCD on the stream, uh, it will be okay. I mean, uh, I will not have that uh, this problem. And more uh, than that, uh, I will probably have uh, uh, 480p signal, not, not 480i as I have now. Uh, but I still want to enjoy <laughs> the game on uh, on the CRT. Uh, Clement, I am listening to the stream right now and. It seems the in-game sounds are a bit too quiet. Uh, it Could quieter you... than uh, we ha uh, are for yeah. us. Okay, I will uh, raise a bit yeah. the sound and uh, uh, just uh, let us know if are okay. Yeah. So Chris, just let us know if it's improved or not. Now. The other thing I dislike about mobile games is either A, um, the control suck, as in terms as I just missed the tactileness of a controller or an input device. You, don't, you can't emulate that with any sort of rumble in a phone. Or you need to have those silly gaming phones where they have additional buttons just to emulate that. Or B, they are repetitive and boring. Okay. Can I drop safely from here? <laughs> this is the question. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think so. So I opened another door. I think down that there. was the door. Yeah, earlier. one is up there with the crystal, and the other one is down uh, next to the Sphinx. And it doesn't matter which one you take first, so you can go in either. Uh, I, I, and the, I uh, the I other one up there is closer at this point. Uh, I was thinking about trying the other one because I have the. I already saved to keep this uh, crystal for later. Uh, okay. Let's just uh, find a way down. A safe. Other way. side looked. Uh, the drop looked smaller.
Now, I wonder, um, a random question. Another what music is, clip. What is your least favorite console? Uh, well, are you, uh, there are so many consoles, it's a pretty tough question, I guess. Le, 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 let's just... Um, Narrow it down to the big four and no, not some random bullshit. Yeah. You take the words right off my mouth, Kovic. Uh, it's probably gonna be some Sega, because they didn't really do a good job, usually. Um, to me... Okay. Yeah, sorry, Clement. Or uh, Wii U, maybe? I disagree personally, but oh well. Uh, I don't know, I, think, I, I feel like the Wii U is just a strictly worse Switch. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I, I'm. I don't agree. Because uh, the Wii U has uh, its gimmick uh, with two screens. I mean, you can play with the main on the big screen and also have some sync on the smaller screen. And uh, there are some games that did that uh, this thing pretty well. For example, uh, Deus Ex on Wii U, it's pretty interesting because of this aspect. Lego City Stories. And that one also. I, I didn't uh, try it on other consoles. I know that it was ported also on um, PlayStation now. And uh, everywhere. On Switch, on PC. There was even a 3DS version. If you want to have a laugh, the 3DS version is painfully mediocre. <laughs> Alright, which room is this? Uh, right, so in this room there is no key in the water. That's the other one. Now, to answer the question for me is, and I might upset some people here, is any Sega console. I am sorry, but there are barely any games exclusive to Sega consoles that capture my interest. Um, I don't know, maybe because they, are, they aren't exclusive anymore, but I, in my opinion, Dreamcast was a really good console. Uh, Lie down, uh, facing the other way. Because uh, at the end you need to shimmy. Nice animation there, open Laura. Uh, oops. Okay, try to re-grab. Does uh, that fix it? Oops. No. <laughs> yeah. You may have a problem here. Chris Shamu, uh, Shamu is maybe one of the only games. Oh, this is now, a big problem, I guess. Well, depends. Can you do a side jump while sliding in Tomb Raider 1? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, uh, I think uh, you cannot... I think I think you might be able to solve this. If you face forward and try to do a jump like one tile before the end and then in the air you do a you turn 90 degrees you might be able to make it there mm -hmm. extremely unintended way of doing this but it might work well we are known for using broken mechanics uh, you will need to slide down the left edge to give yourself more space to maneuver the the mid-air control I'm curious if this uh, was uh, discovered, this bug. Oh, pretty close. Yeah, just jumped a tiny bit earlier and you will make it. Come on, climb, Matt. Yeah, let me check the pins in Open Lara channel. If they reported this. Um. And uh, we have uh, the proof also. <laughs> we can uh, link to the minute of the stream. 
Sanctuary with a skill and progression bug and workaround. Okay. Oh yeah, it was reported. And apparently, uh, in the late game, like the next three levels, there are also bugs, but they have been reported, and there's a workaround for each one. Do oh. some crazy ass jumping. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Xbox port uh, is uh, the oldest. I mean, it's not uh, updated since 2020. Uh, well, none of them are really getting updated anymore. So. Okay, let's try this. Uh, I, I hope uh, Open Lara doesn't mess up. Uh... Doesn't mess up uh, the boulders, their behavior. So that might be important in the next blue, level. Blue just entered the chat and he is saying something that worries me. <laughs> anyway, anyways. Hi, vacation. I meet Blue. Hello. We How found a way to finish it, I guess. <laughs> uh... yeah, what was here. that chunkiness? It's the same bug as the previous slope. Uh... Okay, I need to... To jump, I guess. Yeah, this. jump to the bridge. This is a forward jump. Um, thought we were stuck in the water for a second there. Uh, yeah, sometimes uh, she doesn't grab uh, from the water. Okay. The, the bug in the Great Pyramid that they know about is a different bug that I fear. It's a pretty silly bug. Because that should oh. be uh, an obvious game mechanic that should be implemented. Because uh, you do it in Unfinished Business as well, right? The, the swan dive jump. Do you know that one? Uh... Well, I'm not sure I know it. So if you uh, do a standing jump, but you hold the walk button as well, uh, Lara does a swan dive. Yeah, which but it's is not meant to... to stop her horizontal momentum after a few tiles of falling. So it's perfect for jumping down into very small pools of water, very precisely. And there's a jump like that at the end of the game. But in open Lara, you might need to switch to a D-pad here, because I notice you're turning mid-air, and it messes up the distance for you. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, at the end of the game, there's a there's a swan dive jump required. Uh, but in open Lara, the horizontal momentum never stops with the swan dive. So if you tried to do the setup like in the original engine, uh, you would die. So you just need to uh, step further back, and the jump is possible. Now, Clement, you didn't answer the question yet of your least favorite console. Um, I mean, you, uh, your console was? I don't remember. Any Sega console. Ah, any because, Sega console. Uh, now, the worst uh, one. Oh, yeah. dear lord. Um, you probably cannot even remember it. <laughs> what's the handheld one called again? Uh, Lynx. No, no, that's Atari. Uh, gear? Uh, I don't know. Game Gear or something? Game Gear, yeah. 
because it wanted to be the Game Boy, but it had such battery life, bad battery life, and things like that. And for being a handheld console, having bad battery life, that's a deal breaker. What happened with the light? It, when I have uh, made the jump, it changes the lighting. I don't know if you... I don't know, but it finally isn't tinted green. I thought it's on purpose. <laughs> It's pretty. Lara is no, no longer stuck in the Matrix. Now, I gather from your question, Clement, that uh, it's not Sega for you. Um, uh, heal, 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 heal. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let me think a bit. And I will uh, come back to you, because uh, I, I never thought, and there are so many. Yeah. Now, meanwhile, I can say, like, like me saying that Sega is my least favorite console. I am not saying Sega is bad or Sega consoles are bad. No, um, I'm just saying that. Uh, in terms of my retro game collection, there will be a very, 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 very minor chance I will personally buy any Sega games. Um, Sega consoles. Pretty problematic model here. Doesn't really look good. Um, True, I... and it was set to low too. I understand that you excluded, for example, the 3DO from... Or, uh... Yeah, and and, no. C, and and the CDI and and chunks the CDI like that. is a good one, but the 3DO was a good uh, contender. Contender. <laughs> and, and and I hear and, from and the, the th homebrew scene that the 3DO was massively underutilized in its run. That it's it's more powerful than it would appear. But yeah, we, we limit it to the big four. And actually, my, my opinion was similar, like any any Sega, pick the worst Sega. But actually, I found a very left of field pick, which which might be a better one. Uh, the Virtual Boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the best one to choose. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that, that's a totally fair one. Yeah, if it's allowed, the, the, the Virtual Boy is for me also. Yeah, true, 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 true. Is there even an emulator for the Virtual Boy these days? Just as a random thought? I, I think it is. I don't know, actually. Anyhow, Chris is asking the opposite question in chat. The favorite console... Oh boy! <laughs> oh no. boy! Um, purely me... irrationally, I'm gonna say N64. <laughs> Why did I see that one coming? It's pretty obvious, yeah. <laughs> yeah. To me is um. And if you know my history with the games I have played, um, and the type of games I'm into, and my history basically is, um, is a 3DS. Because I, when I grew up, I didn't have any consoles. Um, my first console was the Nintendo Wii, very late in its life cycle. Um, as in, the Wii U was already rumored. And um, I always grew up on a weak computer. And... I had handhelds, and I started with the Nintendo handhelds, like the Game Boy, like a lot of kids from our generation, Kovic, did with the, the first Pokemon game. And um, 
yeah, I, I, it, it just stuck. And then I got a flashcard on my DS that kept working on the 3DS until they did some updates. But the DS and 3DS just stuck with me. Um, and I have so many amazing memories. So now you're looking to go to the door that's up there? No, I wanted to say about the top, yeah, uh, that too, but I wanted to say that it's a bit unfair to compare the handhelds with the main consoles, so maybe we, sh we should answer both. <laughs> I mean, uh, handheld and uh, <laughs> and I will prepare my answers for the worst and the Yeah, let the me best. look into the Sega consoles and I'll <laughs> pick the worst one. So the worst console since I set my worst handheld. For it depends on how you want to take the virtual boy, since wasn't that with batteries? <laughs> I, think. I don't have any reminiscence of that but, console. But, but then we would go into a very semantic question. Um, let's just say my least favorite console i will just join the bandwagon in hating the virtual boy here um and my favorite console that's not a handheld is huh. probably too sloped mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah climb the sphinx that's the best way to reach the door you did it before I am, for my favorite console, I am doubting and something you might not see coming from me. Well, partially, The, the tile yes, ahead of you should no. be climbable. Uh, this one? Yeah. Okay, for me, the worst uh, handheld uh, is uh, Lynx. Uh, I didn't the have Atari it, one. but uh, now I have the Evercade and uh, I got some of the collections and uh, the games are horrible. <laughs> uh, the new cartridge-based uh, handheld, the Evercade. Uh, they are publishing uh, all games on uh, cartridges. So, and uh, I will avoid uh, this obvious uh, answer with uh, the Virtual Boy, and I will say that uh, <laughs> is Saturn. Saturn is the worst for me. Yeah, I was going to pick that one too, actually. Uh, if uh, we exclude the obvious uh, Virtual Boy. <laughs> There's another Sega answer you could do, but it's difficult because they were just add-ons. Right, you have oh, the, the Sega CD or, or 32X, yeah, one of those. Yeah. Uh, but my favorite console is... I am doubting between one that's very obvious for me and one that's very less obvious for me. Um, now take a wild guess which one the obvious would be. Well, the DS <laughs> or the Game Boy Color. Console, console, console. Oh, console. console. Switch, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> but the the less obvious one, which would which one would that be? Uh, the Wii. No. I don't know. There, uh, it's Kovic, a... Kovic, which which controller do you play, my man? PS4. You have your answer there. That's a bad one or a good one? A good I one. Wasn't a good one. Ah, yeah. I, uh, two years ago, on a whim, I decided to purchase a PS4 mainly to play games like Persona 5. Not for Like that one. And, um, also to play Bloodborne. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's currently in my PS4, and to play the then exclusive God of War 
and try out the I think I have the exact same copy the exact same box uh, and also um, and ah. pew, 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 pew. let me just pew. say Whoa. Ah. no too uh, late too late <laughs> But it's good that I have the same, yeah. uh, right around the corner. Let me just say, I... Um... I just uh, got too used with the Tomb 1 port, Tomb main, Tomb 1 main uh, engine port, which uh, has a... Um... Uh, I mean, it shows uh, like uh, you see the health, you also see the health of the enemies. <laughs> and uh, I still uh, try to look in the corner for that. Uh... Oh, really? I don't know. I didn't I know it remember... has that feature. I probably turned it off because it's not vanilla or something. Well, if it was, <laughs> I mean, it was uh, vanilla starting uh, Tomb Raider 3, I guess. Maybe. Well, not on PlayStation. Okay, so uh, I asked you on Discord, did you finish Tomb Raider 3 also? Uh, not yet. I am in Nevada, a high security compound. Uh, to finish uh, my thoughts, I was very, very surprised with the amount of amazing games that were either exclusive or ran pretty damn well on PS4. Um, so yeah, um, I take my Switch everywhere I go, uh, on train rides and such, and at home, not always my Switch is running, quite often my PS4. If I'm not in a retro gaming mood, that is. Or playing Doom Eternal. He'd be doing that on the PC, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who in their right minds only plays shooters on consoles with a controller? Uh, not only, but I, I do. <laughs> I, I view it as the extra challenge. <laughs> With auto aim, right? I don't. I played 2016 on PS4, like a challenge run, and that game has a really bad auto aim, so I actually disabled it because it was better that way. I see. Any Halo fans is Blue asking. Um, I was a fan of Halo 1 back in the day, uh, Combat Evolved. I played a lot of online and especially on custom maps, or maps with custom content. Alright, Klamath, now climb to the head of the Sphinx. Climb to the Elgato No Signal. It's back. Need to use that little raised platform in order to uh, make the jump there. Because you got the right idea, ah. just they made it just slightly too high on purpose. Um, so my favorite uh, handheld uh, is Switch. <laughs> so I cheated now. <laughs> um, yeah, then that would be a semantic discussion if you would count it as a console or a handheld, since it's practically it's a handheld both. if it's in handheld. It's practically both. It's practically both, but uh, I uh, play the Switch uh, mostly handheld when I played. I don't see the reason to play it on big screen usually because uh, the other consoles have uh, better quality 
but uh, handheld it's thankfully uh, really you didn't good. turbo thankfully you didn't turbo cheat and set the steam deck uh, the real no. best handheld <laughs> Is not the real best. I have it, but uh, in terms of screen, uh, it's not an OLED, unfortunately. And uh, the OLED makes a big difference for a switch on health, handheld. And uh, I picked uh, the switch because uh, I like that uh, a lot of the old games uh, got uh, released on switch, and uh, it's a nice way to keep them on collection. Yes. And they are running yes. well. Uh, Very yes. A few days ago, they announced that uh, you can pre-order Gothic 1 on uh, Switch. <laughs> Physical, for example. Another uh, game, one of my favorite games. Cinematic camera. Now, what about your favorite console, my man? Um... Uh... PlayStation uh, is high there, but uh, one, two, three, four, or five. Uh, PlayStation Four, I guess, is the best also. But my best, uh, my most uh, loved console is this one: is the Xbox Classic. Uh, because uh, there, are, uh, the here are the games from uh, my youth in their uh, best uh, yeah, that's incarnation. Fair. And uh, it, because I love to play on CRT, this is the best way. Uh, it, 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 I, it, I, I kind of feel like we have a similar story with my favorite handheld, the 3DS. Because the childhood memories are a strong thing. Especially when you play a bad game in your childhood. You... Then to see it through rose colored glasses, Action and you key. defend it to, um, to hell and back. Rabbit is taking it very slowly. Uh, okay. By the way. Chris is playing through the PAL version of, of Infernal Machine, all treasures on N64. Uh, you cannot get to the base of the Sphinx from in the inside. The level doesn't work like that. I don't remember. I opened the door? Yeah, it's between its legs, but okay. you need to go there from the outside. Yes, the music plays again without fail. Uh, yeah, this is a open Lara bug. I'm not complaining. Me neither. It's a good bug. Uh, it's uh, oh, the entire game, this uh, behavior. I mean, it's location based only. <laughs> it's very foggy underwater. Doesn't look like this on PlayStation. All right, this room is pretty silly. Uh, you have two statues here. Go between the legs of the one on the right. There's a lever in a corridor. This is a pretty uh, big It was lever. a suspicious sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but... <laughs> it's actually left. very ugly. The, the water and the, and the water surface. I the, think they don't have the, the caustics effect. Uh, from PlayStation going on here. 
Yeah, and the fog. I'm sorry, it's not working. I think this might be PC graphics rather than PlayStation graphics. Because they, they didn't have the same effects always. Although, ironically, if you played Open Lara on PC, I think they have an option for the PlayStation water. Or I might be confusing that with Tomb 1 main. Because that one definitely does. Yeah. The original doesn't have that many options. So, yeah. Right here, but the other statue is where you want to go. Yeah, the PS1 version had fog, does Blue say. Do you remember it from your playthrough, uh, Kovic? It has a render distance fog, but uh, this is uh, an underwater fog, which it doesn't have, because it has a, a caustics effect instead. So there's a very bright coloring underwater. And, now, uh, for the water. people who don't know what caustic effect is... How would you explain a caustic effect? It's the reflection of the light going through the water surface. It's like this sort of shimmer. Oh, oh. Yeah, I totally understand what you mean. In in Dutch, we call it so differently that I didn't connect it right away with it being dead. And the olden games faked it with a texture, pretty much. But it looked nice. In... The, the N64 version of Indiana Jones does the same thing. It has a special texture for underwater areas, but it doesn't remove it when the water is drained, so it looks kind of weird then. In, in in Dutch, we sort of call it something along the lines of, uh, if I literally translate it to um, color fracturing. Pretty descript the descriptive name, basically what it is. Yeah. I want Chris is in chat. Maybe he can tell me uh, tell us if it's similar in German. Oh. Oh dear lord. Thank you, Madpax. Uh, it's pretty interesting uh, the the lighting now. So since that moment when it changed, now we have a completely different lighting. <laughs> In the entire level, it's like right, it, it should have always looked like this, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's like I uh, um, changed the flag <laughs> in the engine. A permanent. Any one. chance that you accidentally pressed some sort of com button combination on the uh, controller? It, it could be. Uh, I don't know if we have any options uh, available. Detail, detail levels. No. no, that's just the 2D items. Sound controls. That, 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 that reminds me like... Um, if Probably you play, not in the options, but could be still present. If you play... Uh, um, yeah, I will say it. Later. You can research. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to look at the, the, the open Lara GitHub and see if there's like a readme or something for the, for the place, uh, Xbox version. Uh, let me see. Source. Maybe they have two types of lighting. I don't know. Platform Xbox. Huh? Hmm. 
Try reaching the other statue somehow, because I remember the lever is somewhere there. Now, the way I reached it when I played it on PlayStation probably wasn't the intended one. I, I think I somehow glitched through a, a bit of the statue. Okay. So I, so I can't quite speak for what the intended solution here is. Uh, I guess I will die if I make this jump. <laughs> Seems uh, five. Oh yeah, that's too, definitely too far. If you're talking about just jumping across, but you can make a diagonal standing jump to that platform. And now this is a running jump, and you climb to. But you want to drop down anyway, or at least I did, like to the platform that's below you here. Uh, nothing here. Okay. No, I think if you look uh, over at the other side of the statue, you will see the lever that you're looking for. I think it should be visible from here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe in first person. No. Uh, so it's probably like behind the corner of the nose of the statue or something. Uh, I'm wondering if they are, uh, if it's a switchable uh, setting, if they are uh, using uh, PC and uh, PlayStation lighting maybe, and uh, maybe it's related with the difference that uh, Kovic uh, observed earlier in the water. Well, looking at the source code to see if there's anything... Oh, it actually ended. I didn't notice any, like, strange shortcut. I can tell you, though, that since you're in 480i, uh, the game has uh, four times uh, anti-aliasing running. Which is pretty nice. It's not present if you were running it in... Uh, in an HD video mode. Oh. Oops. That was hashtag unlucky. This is the lever? Yeah, wait, is it that simple? Can you just jump into the water from the start? That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it seems. Because uh, this opens the door uh, in between the other uh, statue's legs. Yeah, it even shows you. I guess I need to go back up. Oh, or you, no? you use the door that you just oh, okay. opened. Hello? Uh, not um, through here. I mean, you've already been there. Uh, yeah, but I couldn't control it. Yeah, there's uh, like a current in there. But now you're going to have to jump through all this again. Just so that you can jump into the water again and swim in between the other statue. Whose door you just opened. Oh. So not even on 480p? You don't have uh, anti-rising? Uh, Kovic just stepped away for a moment and oh, okay. I wasn't paying attention since I was discussing uh, German and Dutch words with uh, Chris in chat. <laughs> ah, I uh, was just uh, uh, talking with uh, Neko. Uh, before the stream about the Alan Wake remaster. Uh, it's one of the games that uh, we'll be doing in September. And uh, <clears throat> you, 
initially I wanted to uh, play it on Steam. I started it because like, oh, it's okay, it's nice. Then uh, oh, yeah. I realized yeah, yeah, that right. it's not the remaster. The remaster is console and Epic Games exclusive. So I choose to to buy it uh, physically for PlayStation 4. <laughs> and I yeah, bought and, uh, a Belgian then, copy. <laughs> yeah, he he sends um, a picture of uh, in our chat. Um, and he said, I think you recognize the first language right away as French. And you said that in chat, like, I wonder what the second language is. And I thought he is being sarcastic and he knows it's Dutch. <laughs> so I reply in Dutch, like, you really want to, me to answer this question or was that a rhetorical question? But Clement didn't realize it was Dutch. So, if you ever get your hands on a copy of a game, and it's both on the backside uh, in French and in Dutch, there are very high chances you have a Belgium copy on your hands, since the two biggest languages here in Belgium are Dutch, well, Flemish, but Flemish is to Dutch what American English is to British English. So basically the same but sometimes a bit different spelling different words used and different grammar uh, uh not different grammar different sentence structure sentence sentence structure is sounding wrong but i not finding the right word in english a different different expressions that's more what i mean Now, in the Netherlands, they only have Dutch as their main language, so um, they mostly release only uh, Dutch box arts there, but sometimes developers get a bit lazy, it's not the right word, uh, but they are like, ah, Belgium and the Netherlands are the same, so let's release the same thing we released in Belgium. So... It's possible you got a copy from the Netherlands as well, but uh, seeing it was French and Dutch, high chances it's a Belgian one. Yeah, I guess uh, some of the games that don't sell <laughs> through Europe, uh, some of the retailers from Romania are buying uh, lots from the mm -hmm. other retailers from those countries. Because uh, I also uh, bought some of the games uh, in Nordic languages with covers in Nordic uh, languages, which is pretty strange for Romania. I mean, in Romania, it's uh, English or Romanian for 1% of the games. I have a few Italian and Spanish because they were pretty cheap on eBay and they are multi language anyways. So. Besides, in those cases, I am that kind of a collector, and I think that what I'm now going to say, Clavet is going to shout blasphemy on this, but I'm that guy who prints replacement covers. Oh, I did that before starting collecting, I mean, with pirated copies. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair point. <laughs> Come on. The safe crystal is denying you a save. Decided to have a look at uh, some of my PS4 games to see what languages are on their covers. For me, all my PS4 games are either, uh, I think, one or two Dutch, but. Almost everyone is in English. Oh, my DS is an. Oh yeah, I remember this fight. Shotgun.
was there one enemy either being glitching out from the other room or glitching in the other room? I feel like Lara's auto aim is better in the original engine. Okay, I guess uh, one <laughs> one of them is, is inside this wall. <laughs> Good enough. Uh, yeah, they are uh, pretty uh, easy. The enemies in this port compared to with what I played in uh, unfinished business. Yeah, enemies are stupider, but Lara's aim as well, in my opinion, because I it felt to me like. At least a good third of your shotgun shots went nowhere. Uh, uh, oh, another one. He unglitched from the wall, maybe. And there uh, is another one up there. And you can just ignore it because uh, you want to go through that lock. No. I <laughs> like you need that ammo for later, right? right? Uh, I can uh, kill it with uh, pistols, but he must go. The <laughs> pistol and the magnums and the schrotflinte, as I had it in my German version. Magnums, that's ice cream, my man. <laughs> Right, so here, here's the here's the bloodborne copy right and it, the, its cover or the backside specifically is in Czech in Slovak in uh, Hungarian and then there's a language I actually don't recognize show it to me it's the third paragraph I don't know if you can see anything no uh, I can make it uh, bigger uh, well, let's see my best guess is Turkish. That looks like... Hold it up a... Oh, the second one, uh, the third one. The third one, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, that doesn't... Uh, now, from the Czech words, uh, what what does the word say? Follow your nightmares would be the translation of the tagline, which is the, the bold letters, okay. bold words. Then, where is Deeple? Where is Deeple? I guess uh, the easiest way is to put the that text in uh, Google. I am about to do yeah, that. Yeah, he's about to do that. I was just wondering if anyone here, or, 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 I guess, no, he wanted to have no. a look. Now, could you, can, you put the words in, in chat for me, Kovic? Sure. Yeah, I, I agree with Chris uh, saying in chat, like, it doesn't look like Turkish to me. Turkish has, to my knowledge, more accents on their words. There's plenty of accents and there's also tails on the letters. I put it in the bell and it's in the Turkish. Does it translate to something sensible or? Yeah, I got the uh, Turkish detected language it translates to mm. hunt your nightmares, which matches the tagline. Interesting. Now I'm going to get my own copy of Lobboard. I don't know how to pronounce Turkish though, so I can't even fake reading it. I, still got a pain I could try faking Hungarian though. Shoot you to hell. Okay, where is that final piece? Let's try what Camaro said. Uh, turn right. Uh, it's like uh, through up here? some stairs. No, I think you came through here, no? Uh, no. Oh, no, no, no. This is here. All right, you're correct. Yeah, up these stairs. You can just steal it. Mm. 
nice. I didn't found the secret. What a surprise. I mean, we forgot to look. Uh, I know what the secret is. <laughs> you don't need it anyway. Because it's the Uzis, but you lose all your weapons anyway. True. Now, I, I, I took my whole PS4 collection since I didn't know where <laughs> the Bloodborne copy is. Neko, no, take a break to, my desk. to see the FMV. You just pulled the tough end of a wispo. Howdy. Sexual harassment. Left Larson sucking wind then, eh? If that is the phrase. Well, your little vacation riot's over now. Time to give back what you've hijacked off me. Let's try the lunchbox. <laughs> Well, kill her! Hey. This might be the longest FMV in the, in the game, actually. Let's go. Wasn't this a quick time event in anniversary? Yes. Of course it was. Now, where is my... As I said earlier, I took my whole set of PlayStation 4 games. Now yeah, FMV is nice and all, but let's do the... Uh, uh, let's dive through uh, Neko's PS4 collection. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have Linakami 2. Shit. Um... Battleship. <laughs> Devil May Cry 5. Robot shit. Godly shit. I, I thought that game is pretty good. Hacking shit. Oh yeah. W watch a pile of manure. Vampire shit. Gonna make attempts at puns for each game. Yeah, JRPG shit. <laughs> Zombie shit, part two. See that this thing. I always thought she's going. Uh, like she's she went and hid in her hid herself in one of those, like freezer boxes. Where you put drinks and stuff, but it's probably meant to be an entrance into the the insides of the ship. <laughs> she hitched a bed there or something. But to me, it totally looks like that freezer box. Okay. Oops. Ooh. Oh my lord, what is happening? Oops. Uh, I guess it has a problem with that uh, long FMV, my guess, and uh, when we'll... Uh, Maybe restart. Uh, yeah, restart the level, it will be fine. Meanwhile, sell the shit. No, we're fine. <laughs> Good call. Other Zelda shit. Now this. All right. Is what's one. the progression in this level? Uh, do you see the waterfall? Yeah. It has a cavern behind it because, of course, it does. It is mandatory that waterfalls in games have a cavern behind them. Even. Tears of the Kingdom does that. Now look what I found. Sorry for the reflection of my lamp. Mit Blut geboren. The classic lever to open the door with a lever 
behind it. <laughs> now, on the Belgium copy, there are, believe it or not, four languages on the back. Dutch, now... German, French, and question mark. Okay, English? this is timed, it seems. No, no, Ooh. this is the wrong door. Okay. Gate did not this open this one. Gate. Go back into the water now. No. <clears throat> you wouldn't expect it on this copy. You would expect English as the fourth language. But no. Yeah, uh, sorry. On focus, I believe in you. Yeah, good idea. That's was that's German one. Italian? It's Italian. That's Indeed. left field. <laughs> That's indeed left field. Kind of like the Turkish on on my Central European copy. Yeah, and 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 my God of War three is not to be sold separately, but it was sold separately. What would it be a part of? I have no clue, but I. That's a box, by the way, Clement. Maybe uh, one of those Game Plus console bundles? Yeah, possibly. I'm looking through this one, and it also has Italian blurbs at the back, including the Dutch, German, and French one. Now, I got this Resident Evil holographic one. That's only Dutch and French. The Dutch copy of uh, the Final Fantasy um, 7, no, 8, uh, remastered uh, has French and English. Not French and Dutch, French and English. What? Now, if my memory serves correctly, now you get to backtrack into the same cavern behind the waterfall again, since now you opened that door. It's a wonderful level design here. Oh, here is a rare game with only Dutch te text on the back and a lot of copyright shit. Star, Rockstar, Rockstar, Rockstar. Oh, but Naughty Dog is guilty of the same shit too. What studio is that? Naughty Dog. Oh, sorry, I confused it with the game. <laughs> it's different dogs. <laughs> now, I'm gonna say something controversial. I think the next game that was for a long time PS4 exclusive, but recently came to other platforms, isn't that great? No. Mm, I finished I it. I finish it, and uh, even the expansion, uh, it I enjoy it. Yeah, maybe I have very controversial opinions. Uh, it's overhyped. I agree, but it's not a yeah. bad game. I dropped it after thirty minutes. I couldn't get. You into barely it. got to the good parts then. I I I will I die. Was <laughs> unable to get used to the web swimming. I felt that the web swing was unnatural to me. And I can totally agree that it's a meeting, but it's a meeting. So deal with it. Well, actually, uh, I guess uh, Spider-Man 2, which uh, will be released uh, two months from now or even one, I guess. Uh, it I will be a... it was released. But, oh, well. No, no. Uh, it will be a day one. <laughs> Purchase for me. You know, it was one of my favorite games besides Persona 5 on the PlayStation 4 I played last year. Uh, 
I still uh, have to play the remake of that one on PlayStation 5. Oh. That's the remastered. remastered. Yeah. yeah. One of the first PlayStation 4 games I played was this one. Yes. <laughs> one of the one. last. <laughs> you played for your, for your first one of the last PlayStation 4 yeah. games. <laughs> now, Planet, look what I have a collector's edition of. Uh, that's not a collector's edition. That's it a is, limited edition. I mean, you have the statue also because I have it. <laughs> uh, right. You see the box? It was saying collector's edition on the selling page. There's Don't a hole me. in the ceiling. And make sure the box is under the hole for later. Uh, Will be useful. Are there three Last of Us games? I didn't think so. No, I no, no, no. I mean, I if you agree. if you count I the remake as a th separate game. No, no. Blue is saying oh, three versions. Okay, he was saying there are three uh, three Last of Us games, and I was like, no, Blue, I don't agree with that one. Um, now I have almost shown off my whole PS4 physical collection. And let me just show off my two final physical games. And uh, if you want, I can show you also. I have uh, around 800, if you have the time. Physical. <laughs> I mean, it's your stream. <laughs> uh, if we finish the game too early, we can do a walkthrough of the collection. Yeah, right. So, so next one is use the box to jump to the top of the building that's in front of it. Now, if I get tired, I can do just this. Because there's a, a fall through platform in the corner of the building. Before I forget, I am going to put my PS4 collection back. The most random lever of all time. Right, that's, that's what the box was for. Uh, did that door open? Have you tried that door yet? Uh, oh, Just maybe one. it's uh, that stupid thing. It's open when I get close. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! All hmm. right, good. There's uh, one more boulder above you. If you uh, grab the ledge and don't climb up, you should be able to avoid it. If you see me all the way to the left. Now stand up. Ooh. Oops. Oh, yeah, there's a fuse and a safe crystal around the corner. Okay, I still need two more. Yep. Uh. Now starts the boulder bullshit. Uh. 
Wonderful. A doppelganger in the original game? What yep. Uh, what is... I thought it was only something in Underworld. That's a different doppelganger. Because mm -hmm. that one is a good clone. Uh, here in Tomb Raider 1 is the, the bad clone. And it's also in Anniversary, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> wasn't wasn't it also no, it in doesn't. legend? Uh, maybe there's a different way to go back. Maybe including this boulder that just rolled away. Yeah, there's a passageway. In the original Tomb Raider one, they called the do the doppelganger. Uh, Beef jerky Lara for uh, uh, reasons that will become obvious. I thought it was something funny like uh, Lara uh, in parentheses one <laughs> or Lara underscore copy or Lara underscore final underscore final underscore really final. No. Now, if memory serves me correctly, these levels are called Natlas Mines, right? Yep. But in the German version, it's called something a little bit different. Natlas <laughs> Mines. Minus or something. No, it's not mines. They, the translation changes the meaning a little bit because they decided to call it Natlas Catacomben. Oh dear lord! What about that wooden door? Does that open or is that um, a lever one? Let me just say... Maybe Chris, uh, Chris can add what I'm going to say, but the name you said in German, I'm not trying to make these jokes on purpose, but um, it has a very double meaning if you would say it in Dutch about a woman. And that's why I was... Oh dear lord. Oh fuck off, Blue. Just me saying that. And then I see Blue saying this in chat. Since the door is closed, you cannot get this fuse yet. So uh, go to the, the ship. In the in the water lake at the start of the level, since you used some other lever and it moved the ship, so now you can reach a new area. Uh. Now Okay. I just got a random notification on my phone, and I think Google is listening into our streams. Like, I am getting um, so many messages uh, or notifications about Call of Duty is about to set a very high bar for the next Tomb Raider. Why the what? hell are they adding Lara Croft to Tomb Raider? Um, to Tomb Raider, haha. <laughs> to Call of Duty. Why? Oh, come on. So there is a crossover and there are now adding Lara Croft skins for Call of Duty Warzone. What is it, fucking Fortnite? 
Uh, I mean... I looked Action a little... Key. I looked a little bit at the gameplay of Fortnite, and... I'm sorry, I don't understand the appeal. I've jumped toward all the boxes. Screw Fortnite, we should all play Dota. <laughs> yeah, you're playing that quite a lot lately. Now, I wonder who owns this place. Oops. Blue, I'm not you, okay? There's an item there, by the way. Where? In the, like, the dark uh, part. And yeah, I didn't even have to say it. it's that obvious, apparently. Yeah, cracked walls are important. It's Otherwise, even more obvious. Sorry. Wall hunting. Yeah, it's even more obvious here. It's even more obvious on PlayStation because uh, of the lacking Z buffer, the pushable. Right, sticks out uh, from the normal walls because you you see bits of the faces that you shouldn't be able to see. I was like, hmm, this box looks suspicious. Anybody else played Sokoban? Hi, dude. That's a game that also had a lot of clones. I played some DOS version. Who else got frustrated at Sakabun? I did. <laughs> I think I got to level 3 or something. I don't remember. I don't know that game. <laughs> It's basically a block pushing game where you need to push blocks on uh, certain uh, switches. Every level is just a bunch of boxes and a bunch of squares that you need to put all the boxes onto. <laughs> so it's a lot of running around the level so that you can push the block in that one direction. Yeah. It's and... a 2D game, for record. And... The joke is you can't even um, pull a block. Yeah, always only push. So arms weren't invented in that game. The blocks don't have handles. It's kind of hard to pull without handles. Yeah, that's fine. Does this work? Oh, it does. I don't think it should work. I Pretty sure I tried this jump on PlayStation and she wouldn't grab it. Now she because, is really. Yeah, you're meant to go f through here with yeah. that slide. So. I think it's uh, not really a secret, but kind of. Uh, so you saw that engine moved that's on the other side of the lake. I'll be back. I need to have a bathroom break.
Nothing personal. You can't find him because you don't have the pistols yet. <gasps> Bad chase. <laughs> so where's the last save crystal? Is that... Uh, I shouldn't have been able to use it. <laughs> Lucky me. Ah, good, good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, where's the last fuse? Or oh, we know where it is, but how to use it? <laughs> ah, yeah, it's with it's to do with this box. There's a fuse on the floor here, right? Uh, yeah, I got it uh, last time. What? Yeah, get it, but then run away. Back. Not aggro the, the cowboy. Yeah, run away. Back. We'll be back. But I still need one more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, climb the box. Hmm. Is opens that door, and I can get the last fuse. Have you already used uh, that safe crystal near all the fuses, like the, the fuse receptacles? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, we'll see. Uh, I think that one is best collected uh, after you use all the fuses, because uh, then you can use it to for the fight with, with the, that human enemy. But there's another crystal right after the fight. So that's nice. Now remind me, were there uh, crystals in the second game? No, the second game actually lets you save anywhere, even on PlayStation. But it was in the third or fourth game they returned, right? They are back in the third game, but actually, I didn't know this. Uh, they don't work the same like in the first game, because when you find a save crystal, you collect it, and you have it works like save slots that you can use anywhere, but you have limited number of oh. saves, unlike in uh, the second game, where you can just save scum everything. Sort of like ink ribbons in Resident Evil, in a way. Yeah, pretty much. Minus you need to use them at an exact point, you can basically use them anywhere. Yeah. And you start the game with one safe crystal. I found that out when I opened the inventory. Nice. Now yeah, speaking about inventory, in this game there is one extremely useless item and that's a compass. Since why would you, you need to know the way to the north? Uh, I was uh, reading the the readme file for that uh, new campaign that was released for Tomb Raider 1. And they were uh, saying there that uh, remember to use the compass because you'll need, you'll need it on a, uh, for a puzzle. 
so <laughs> but this is a nice uh, campaign i mean they uh, because it's useless in the game uh, they had to <laughs> say it uh, in the readme file so you don't get stuck <laughs> yeah that that's something interesting uh i was always talking to clement about uh doing some custom levels and after a stream i showed him uh, a few and how it works and clement found there, one you've got all the fuses you should use them just I, saying uh i got it this one yeah ah how yeah <laughs> he picked it off the ground when it rolled off the conveyor belt oh i wasn't paying attention <laughs> i don't know so I got the impression that, uh, that uh, just I just uh, pressed the lever and uh, didn't do anything else. He's playing on autopilot. Yeah. Are you already getting tired, Clement? No. Come on, we need to finish it, Neko. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you need to finish. We need to co-commentate. I say tasingly. I don't know what dream time Troy, you're targeting. Whatever are you doing? Oh yeah, you used it. Okay. I don't know what stream time you're targeting, but uh, if we assume one level per hour. You need to speed up a little. Mm. So after this, there were two levels left, right? Yeah. I would say this one is the longest out of the three. Because... Uh... Atlantis can be cheesed a bit, a bit in some parts, and then the Great Pyramid, Jeez. the final level, is actually quite short. It just uh, prolongs itself by giving you only like three crystals the whole level. What are these what? guys doing? <laughs> they be jumpy boys. The the dance and the pistolen. Somebody is into German lately. <laughs> ich kann nicht so viel Deutsch sprechen. Ein klein bisschen. Hm? Vielleicht es wird genug sein. Ja, das ist richtig. And right, so now is got... totally not understanding us. <laughs> I think this corridor that you just found probably leads to the safe crystal that you picked up oh. back there. Yep. So now you gotta do the cowboy first try. No death. Yeehaw! So we'll see how different the AI is. Because actually on PlayStation, I found him to be quite passive. And it was very easy to snipe him from beyond his uh, attack range. Because he's equipped with the shotgun. So you can actually outrange him just barely. Oh! Oh yeah, you aggroed him. I heard his, his voice line. But then you retreated. And I guess he followed you here. That's pretty funny. This terrain that he's not expecting might work in your favor unless he glitches through the wall. Uh. Did he do that? No. He is being very silly. Now, Chris is asking us if we would do the next stream in German. I think Kovic would be able to handle that. I, don't I think would so. fail. 
Now, because I think I'm like I've got some grammar and stuff, but I'm not that good with just vocabulary. I think I have a very limited word shots. That sounds a bit too short. Do not fall there. Lots of lava. But if you walk towards the right and the, the the edge there, there's a little platform that has a safe crystal. Uh, where? In the right? Yeah, yeah. You, you go right and then a little bit right. I mean, forward and then a little bit right. And if you look down here, basically from this edge to the left, you will see it, pretty sure. Now we don't get scammed by the crystal collision. <laughs> yeah. Now, speaking <clears throat> about um, streaming in another language, in a free stream, sometimes I joke that we, on April Fools, we just start streaming and all three of us just start talking in our native language. <laughs> Okay. Wow, I did not expect her to grab that. I thought you would no, fail spectacularly and then I would tell you about this platform. <laughs> I'm not sure it works on PlayStation. <laughs> now, I wonder how crazy would it sound if I started speaking Dutch? You started speaking Romanian, Clement, and you started to speak Czech, Clement. Ah, Kovic. We should have a Scotia. Who rares are that in the rat clinker? I don't know, so Draco. Beautiful. Now, it's up to chat to figure out what we said. <laughs> it's lovely that we uh, represent together all, I mean, the, the, the three biggest language groups in Europe. True. I'm Germanic. And it's I Slavic. don't... Uh, ours is Latin. Sometimes seems, also Romans. It seems strange, but uh, we were in the Roman Empire. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yep. I would thought that um, Romanian was in the Romanian lang uh, Romanic language group from with French and Spa uh, Spanish. That's the, it's it, it is that it is exactly that. That's why I said it's also called the Romance oh. languages in English. It's like there's probably many different oh, words. Yeah, in 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 Dutch we don't use uh, Latin as a language group. We. I am we... noticing a pattern here with the shimmy box. Yeah, same here. Like, the left hand is off. Every time it's sloped, uh, she just grabs it in the wrong spot. Yeah. Should be easily fixable, then. Maybe. And just... Didn't she just shimmy over lever? Yeah, the textures there don't make much sense, do they? True. Now, Blue, do us a favor and talk some Icelandic in chat, just to complete the circle. Now, is Clement going to cook Lara or not? I hope not. 
Are we going to have a crispy Lara? Yes, I think this is one of the longer sections in this level. You still get uh, enough save crystals in this level. But this is one of the longer ones, especially if you get the secret here. Okay, help me with the secret. <laughs> yes, I will. It's a very good secret. Ooh. These very jumps look nerve-wracking, but they're actually perfectly placed. The secret is if you jump to the right, there's the, the corridor. I feel personally attacked. Not, not a pillar, a corridor, more towards the right. Uh, oh, okay. And you also see the box there. Uh, when you approach it, a boulder will start falling, so you need to push the box in as fast as possible. Okay, when we spoke our own native language, <laughs> Chris was thinking we were saying <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, Chris. <sighs> now, that that reminds me of another word that is very silly if you literally translate it. If you get a like a giggle loop, the Dutch word for say um, for that, if you literally translate it, it's just saying, "I have the weak laugh." A weak long laugh? No, the weak laugh. Just that. This is just the room that you came from, but that that corridor there leads to even more the, goodies. The, 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 the first person view looks like a very janky VR. Uh, there is a Lara VR port or so? Are you using this engine? No, 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 I don't know no, about you... one. But I also don't keep myself up to date with VR stuff. I don't really care. But uh, we have uh, one game which we discussed about doing it in VR. I mean, two games. Resident Evil 7 and 8. Which are connected, by the way. That's uh, why we should uh, play them both. No, mm -hmm. Neko? True. Yeah. Uh, this is a very good testing environment to test the, the boulder thing, because that will be useful for the next level. On the original engine, it is possible to jump around a boulder that's uh, finished rolling, and you can use it to do a skip for one puzzle. Uh, so if you want to try it here, if you can jump around the boulder. Yeah, but uh, we'll, if I die... We have to backtrack. No, you cannot die, because the boulder is stopped already. Ah, okay. So where is it? Uh, here? Yeah, this boulder. And if it's like the original engine, you should be able to jump around the left of it here. With a standing jump. It, will make, it may take some attempts. Because the angle is still a bit specific. I don't think this is... Yeah, this is definitely not intended. Based on what the puzzle is in the next level. But if you jump at the right angle, she will just pop on the other side. It, mm. it looks like it's walking. I'm not sure if it works on this uh, engine. Oh, 
<laughs> it, 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 it almost looks like it wants to do it, but it gets stopped somehow. Uh, basically, this is a completely different engine, so it depends how they implemented this. Uh, yeah, it's made from scratch, so all they had to do is change uh, the boulder hitbox and you could be screwed with this. Which is unfortunate, because I, uh, I don't know how to do the puzzle properly. <laughs> uh, we'll probably have to check a guide. Okay. So since you cannot go around the boulder like this, you need to climb back up to where you came from and use the, the extra hole in that previous room with the, the other secret, like with the, the Uzi clips and the medikit to jump uh, past the boulder, which is the intended way. Yeah, this whole... Maybe when they were developing this engine, they were like, and now we are going to patch out all the glitches and create new ones to screw and make this game more difficult. All right, now, which pillar is the right one here? Because one of them is a slope. Yeah, it's the right one. And this not Can a slope, no? Yeah, this one will not make you slide. You can tell by the texture. Mm -hmm. Okay. If it's green, it's good. Same here. So you want to take the left one. Even though it looks sloped, it will not slide you. And now you're safe. Nothing there. Only some cooking. Yeah, I'm a little nervous now for safe crystals. Oh. Uh, uh, I need to jump here or? I think you can do a standing jump from the platform if you slide down uh, the other way. So like facing back to the lava so that you can grab the the slope and land on that platform. I think from the edge of that platform you should be able to do standing jump and grab the ledge on the other side. Yeah, that would be possible I think too. Even though her, her grabbing is a little wonky on this engine, it works fine. If you shoot these boxes, do they go boom? I don't know. I think he can push one of these. Yeah, the cracked one, like last time. Not sure what's behind it. Could be a crystal. Or a secret. Or nothing. We got scammed. Oh, I know why. Because you need the box, actually. That's that's the reward onto itself, of course. You need the box in the next room. So they won't explode when you shoot them. Uh, spoilers? <laughs> <laughs> Can I? They will explode later. Please tell me in Looney Tunes style. Ah, you, you don't get to see it, because uh, technical Aww. limitation. That's, uh, they do, that's the, the way how they do all uh, room transformation in this game. For example, in San Francis Folly, you had a couple of those rooms where you pull a lever and then sand falls down. Every time they do that, the sand doesn't really fall down. They just swap the room 
for a different one. And so, for that reason, it always has to happen out of sight. Because uh, then it would look a, weird. Let me take a guess. They have, like, s several different versions on the same map, and they just move in the correct room? Uh, the way the rooms work is uh, they are connected with each other with portals, literal portals, that, that are just made to be seamless. So uh, they just change the the portal to go into another room behind the scenes. That's how they do it. No. Oh. Walk on the green. Walk on the green. Which looks blue for me, and I'm a color blind. I think. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, I saw the same thing. I, I just realized that you might have been serious and not joking, so uh, what did you say? Me? No, no, Neko. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, you were saying walk on the green, but it looks blue on my screen. The There's like a black slash blue slash white rock, and then... On the floor, you have those patches of green. I think it's meant to be grass or dirt in the worst case. It, it, I don't see it, and I'm not colorblind to my knowledge. But maybe because, yeah, as it, I said, a lot of words, English, come out of my mouth. Um, as I said in the beginning of this stream, I am pretty dang tired from a heavy work week. Because school started, and I'm an IT admin of two schools, so... Mm. Oh boy. <laughs> ah. Ladies and gentlemen, Crispy Lara. Hang on, I sent, I sent a pic in the Discord. I will take a look. Now, I'm 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 not gonna start a discussion about color since uh, I, I I get that already enough being in uh, an IT admin in an art in an art school and trying to discuss about colors That's with actual fair. bloody artists. <laughs> when I say this is red, no, this is such and such of red, and I'm like. Does it even fucking matter? <laughs> <laughs> like one time I said, oh this this looks very pink. No. And I quote, this is Angel Lavender. And I was like What? Angel Lavender? Box twist. They're just making up as they go and try <gasps> to screw with people. Yeah. Oh, it's... Well, you can save this. Not like this, though. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, you could shimmy to uh, one of the extreme edges, either left or right, and then try to do a, a backflip and turn in midair. But I don't know if you can turn if she's doing a backflip, though. In Tomb Raider 2 and onwards, you can do uh, the 180 roll midair, and then once she's facing forward, you could start turning. But it might not be actually possible in Tomb Raider 1. So, uh, never mind. Maybe it's possible uh, in uh, Tomb 1 main version, because you can enable some of the uh, newer uh, moves from Tomb Raider 2. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Now, something I want to also say about the colors is um, now this whole discussion reminds me of um, a Vsauce to say it in its Finnish um, video about your red is not my red. Oh, yeah, that concept. And for the people who didn't know why I referenced Vsauce in Finnish, just put uh, the word Vsauce in a translator and pick Finnish as your source language. But spell it like V-I-I uh, sauce. I think it was spelled like that in Finnish. Vsauce. Yeah. Hey, the text's German. I need to switch it manually. <laughs> there we go, yeah. V I I S A U S and you get wisdom. Yeah. And sometimes um Vsauce uh talks about the Finnish coincidence. And because he got the name from a random word generator. And then he started to make his channel. And then apparently he learned that his name was Finnish for wisdom. But now you get to backtrack through that uh, sloped area all the way back. Because the lever you pulled exploded the TNTs. The TNTs we didn't saw exploding, nor heard. Oh yeah. Very uh, nerve-wracking uh, jump. Yeah. Now jumping or shimmying over lava, no problem. Lava can handle that. But as soon as he touches with her foot one one single pixel of lava she's dead you notice that the rocks that were there on to your left there's fewer of them now hold on C could you go back to the other room what's up with these textures here it's like just flat on the floor Ooh. Running jump from here. A pretty now we're in the big, skate bar. A pretty big level. How it yeah, uh, I told run on PlayStation. Uh, so, absolutely surprisingly, all the late game levels ran great. Yeah, that's indeed surprising, since in most cases the late game levels were all the most rushed levels in most games, because they underestimate how much a game is going to have development time, and then they start developing. And at the end, it's like, oh shit, we are running out of time. Now, well done Atlantis. Wow. Well done Atlantis and Natla to build a literal skate park in your mind for this enemy. This is the stupidest, stupidest enemy, enemy that I've seen in uh, Tomb Raider. Yeah. yeah. There's a bunch of ammo all around the skate park, and and the secret. Okay, it's let's skateboard. Let's get the secret. The skateboard. For the secret, yeah, go here. Turn left. It would be so funny if the secret was a. And uh, I think it's your left here now. There's a 
bunch of pools of lava, but one of them is a pool of water, and you can jump into the water. This one? Yeah. And I don't know how long the corridor is, but at the end here, it just opens, apparently. The door. And goodies here. It would be so funny, like, a corpse of Tony Hawk is here. <laughs> Since it was a big fight, in theory, you should probably get a, a safe crystal at the end of the skate park. Mm -hmm. uh. Yeah, you can fall down here. It's totally safe. Extra safe. Go forwards and turn left on the crossroads, you will go to the exit of the skate park. Oh, this Uzi ammo? Oh yes. Very nice. Now I remember how many bullets you need to kill the first of the two final bosses. I don't remember how much you need for the actual final boss. We are close to the level that uh, uh, Neko didn't finish. Mm -hmm. Because when I played it, I was even more wasteful with ammo than Clement is. Oh, really? <laughs> But I was um, 12, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and even during its that animation, I was still mashing that button. <laughs> mashing button, what a monster. You should just hold it. Uh, yeah, this is the troll. This is the troll uh, trap. One boulder, two boulder, ah, ah, ah. three boulders. Ah, ah, ah. Now three at the same time. <laughs> now you've got ah! over fourth boulder. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't an intentional distraction. Or was it? I was contemplating spoiling it, but then I figured this would be more fun. I think this would make a great short. What? <laughs> what is going on? The wrong one got. Uh, yeah, where one of the boulders go, right? Oh, it's here. Surprise. Now that's the fourth one. The game uh, took mercy upon you and removed one of the boulders. Happy ending. <laughs> it's like the uh, Bob Ross if he were a level designer. And I'm going to put a happy little boulder here. Mm. <laughs> and you know what? Every boulder needs a little friend. So we'll just add another one. But one friend isn't enough, so let's add another one. And I haven't seen enough Bob Ross to make a joke for the fort. Uh, 
Now I'm thinking if there's anything else dangerous in this level. I think the rest of the level is autopilot, pretty much. There is one more enemy, but not, not too bad. Now, something I'm wondering, and it's a total random thought with me and my associations sometimes, but how possible would it be to remake Tomb Raider in the Doom or Doom 64 engine? Uh, it would need to be heavily compromised because uh, the game is very vertical with mm -hmm. platforms on top of platforms, and that's something that Doom exactly, specifically cannot do. If you were targeting Quake, no problem. Easy. It, it wouldn't surprise me then if somebody made uh, a Tomb Raider mod clone thingy in Quake then already. <laughs> The biggest problem would be uh, all the player logic, because if you wanted to go all the way, like do third-person camera, and jumping and grabbing, stuff like that, and not just make the level, like the map, then that's a lot of work, especially mm -hmm. if, if, you, if it were a mod and not a whole game on the Quake engine. Because making custom game logic for Quake 1 is kind of weird. Because uh, the way all the things are implemented in Quake 1 is in a custom interpreted language called Quake C. Because it's very inspired uh, by C, the syntax. Mm -hmm. But it's something that Carmack made for that game. Just that, that that comment from Blue. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it runs on Open Lara. The Mario sixty four Tomb Raider thing. Now, is it also getting colder there in Czechia and Romania? Since I am sitting here in a shirt, and it's too just a bit too cold for sitting in a shirt and too hot for sitting in a shirt and then and another hole or something it's that weird time of year where it's too warm for two layers and too cold for one layer i'm doing fine with one layer here it's but my really... window is closed to be fair yeah it's currently oh oh my fuck it's currently 12 degrees in here in Belgium. whoa well it is dark no yeah well i have uh, 18 degrees i guess oh my Be weather 81 has... 81 is <laughs> flipped my, my... To the camera <laughs> My weather app didn't update. It's seven. Oh, whoops. It is, uh, come on, 17 here. And yes, I'm holding my fingers over the place name. <laughs> Okay. Did you press any levers by any chance? No. Uh, I couldn't find any levers. Could you excuse me for a moment, since um, 
the WhatsApp group of my building is very active since some people of um, the block next to me is looking, uh, is smelling some uh, fire. So just give Ooh. me a moment. I know you came from here, so maybe there is a level behind this one. No, you wouldn't be no, able no, to reach no, it in no, any no. way yeah, because okay. the room is too narrow. I guess no, nothing I, I is there. It. You okay. came through from there. Somewhere in this uh, bronze maze. Something interactable. It could be timed, the lever. There's a door here somewhere as well. That might be what you're looking for. Okay. This is closed, and down here, gotta be something here. Oh. Oh no. What what's up with this box? Can you push it? Uh, I can push it only one square. We found out what it was. It's it's a dude um, sitting outside talking with some guests, uh, having like a fire um, thing outside. But he put on his ventilation way too hard, so the smoke from that fire is picking up and going through the whole ventilation system of the whole freaking building. So we need so that, to get uh, that checked out. That's uh, not good. I think that block that you can't, uh, can't push any further is getting blocked by the other block. Uh, so it's like, getting, uh, as in from the other side. It's getting block blocked. Uh, okay. But hmm, there is no space to push it sideways. Ah, this, I I remember this puzzle being stupid. I forgot how to solve it. Oh, uh, I can. Oh, uh... uh, maybe I can push it here. Okay, maybe I need to pull the other one and push this one, something like that. Yeah, I think that might be it. What was that texture glitching there for a moment? I didn't notice. There we go, that's the sequence. I I did, it was almost clipping a bit. You got a save here. I have a save here. And a lever. The lever might open the door on the uh, upper floor. Come on. Rather than this one. Because they're mean like that. Okay, let's uh, keep the save for later then. 
I guess I will return here. Quick for climbing this faster. Uh, go towards the wall and then just do a standing jump. Oh, not here. You're right. I guess this is the longest level in the game. It seems so. <laughs> It's not even that big, but you do a lot of backtracking through the same areas over and over again. Like, for example, here, <laughs> right now, backtracking. Cheese. American or British cheese? Wow, only 400 bullets in the Uzi. We are nearing the end of this level, I think, if I remember stuff correctly. Yeah. Just one key left. A little bit of platforming to get it. And then we basically enter Atlantis now? Yep. Now... Clamet. Did we plan this uh, by... Yeah. By first playing Fate of Atlantis and then a game that ends in Atlantis. And uh, they are so differently uh, put together. <laughs> yeah, say. was this planned? Hmm. Actually, coincidences exist. Funny thing is, I think the Atlantis in the, the remake of this game is more similar to Fate of Atlantis than the one in this game. Because this one has the very organic, really weird design. The one in Anniversary is more normy. He dropped a shotgun, by the way. You can collect it. I tried to collect it, but... No. Uh, not this one. The one it's like at his feet. It's the item. Oh, okay. And when you pick up the shotgun, he comes back alive. <laughs> ah. hmm? I don't think there's anything on the roofs here. Okay, I still need a key, I guess. Yeah, you need to jump uh, on top of the pyramid. There's these little e holes that are not steep. Keeping the key on top of the pyramid here is like keeping your key under the doormat, but extreme edition. <laughs> well, the key is not here. There's a lever here which opens the building which has the key. It's uh, more practical oh. that way. Height difference.
That felt like an animation cancel. Perfect height from here. Almost there. Open the buildings. What buildings? Small ones. Now, oh. I'm gonna just ask the following, and depending on your answer, Kovic, I know if I need to set coffee or not. How big are the two next levels? Well, if I think back to my playtime, I think Atlantis took me 40 minutes and the final one 30 minutes. It's coffee time. It's... You know what that means? Cooking stream! This looks very wonky with the 3D model. <laughs> oh yeah, cutscene. Rare in-engine cutscene. And a very teeny tiny FMV. Okay. Uh, I guess I will uh, also take a coffee break. Okay, liquid break. Yeah, but let's not uh, do the whole, the three of us uh, in the same time. I will uh, then show you my latest uh, addition to my collection, which I was uh, talking about earlier. One moment. Okay. So, uh, this is the Alan Wake Remaster. It has a free PlayStation 5 upgrade and uh, is one of the games that will uh, start uh, after we finish uh, uh, Tomb Raider. And uh, we already finished Doom 64, we have uh, only some uh, lost levels to play, but we decided to uh, let them for another time. So next week we'll have Alan Wake and uh, Shadow Man. Uh, these are the two games. Or the uh, the Czech FPS. Uh, I'm not sure about the, the order, but one of the games that we'll play during September is Alan Wake. And uh, this got just uh, released under the waves. Uh, it's a game made by uh, Quantic Dream. So it's an adventure. <laughs> I want to play it uh, with my wife. Uh, I played all the games uh, made by Quantic Dreams. And uh, they are... Uh, really enjoyable i would say uh, even if you could argue that uh, they are not uh, really games <laughs> they are more like uh, interactive uh, 
movies <laughs> in a way so that's it and uh, since <clears throat> I still have something here because uh, I I needed uh, this for an uh, interview in the Romanian gaming magazine um, regarding my game collection I uh, had to show this one because exactly this game in this uh, edition is uh, my first game this started my uh, collection that has uh, almost 4000 games original games now so it's uh, Dai Katana from uh, I mean it's a sold out version later on I, uh, I got also the big box for Dai Katana but uh, this one was the first and the second one was uh, Baldur's Gate Okay, Neko, how is your coffee? Uh, now I will uh, switch places with uh, Kovic. Maybe you have something to show until I'm going <laughs> for the coffee. I mean, you can check uh, after that I shown two games. Three, in a matter of fact. What? What's happening? Is did he went for a refill? Uh, coffee. I heard. <laughs> I just picked the first mug I had, and it was my Pokemon mug. It has all the starters of the first generation on it. Kovic, uh, you might have also seen that I started playing a game we are going to stream soon as well on Steam. Oh, really? I I I think I haven't noticed that 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 game I can't pronounce for shit. I see. I am currently uh, past the was it the hospital thing? Wasn't it maybe the second level or something? It surprised me that I waited so long to pick it up since um, I thought it was going to be one of those million boomer shooters that's coming out these days but it feels fresh like dusk i i, I get very dusk vibes while playing um atrot if that makes any sense what i'm saying even just the main menu is already copied and pasted in style so. yeah certainly Although the engine is much different, which uh, reflects on the gameplay. You don't have the spinning guns. <laughs> you don't have the verticality, because uh, Dusk emulates Quake very closely. So there's a lot of jumping. And then in episode 3 you have even crazier things. Whereas the technology in Hrod takes its lineage from uh, Chasm the Rift. It was also a tile-based shooter. Wasn't that one of the games Civi hated? Or made a video about it? Or am I misremembering things? He well? may have made a video about it. I don't think he hated it. Then I might be misremembering things. 
I look at the videos. Made a made a Soldier of Fortune video, which I don't want to watch because I want to play the game first. <laughs> it, it it's spoilery, very spoilery. There we go. Chasm the Rift, Time Quake. He calls the video. One year ago. Yeah, I remember him making a video about it. Oh, uh, because I'm a Patreon of uh, him. I started bugging him sometimes about Atrod. Nice. I imagine he gets a lot of it because he made the full video on episode one, and then he uh, made a a short mention of it in like a wrap up stream or a a round up yeah, stream. Uh, what are you Videos, talking about? You mean? Uh, nothing special. No Atrod. <laughs> TV, yeah. He just three. mentioned like episode 2 is out, it's good. And nothing for episode 3. I want my Prohrot episode. Yeah, which is strange since uh, he once mentioned Nightmare Reaper and then a Nightmare Reaper when episode 2 dropped and then when episode 3 dropped he made a full video about it. About Nightmare Reaper. But yeah, I mean, if you look at how many games there are coming out these days that are totally boomer shooter civvy style. I to uh, poor guy, he can't follow. I see that now they are starting to release a lot of uh, uh, games with uh, PlayStation One like graphics. Uh, I mean a lot is the new trend. Uh, PlayStation One type yeah, of graphics. Yeah, which makes which makes sense, since the people who grew up on the Nintendo Entertainment System and the Super Nintendo, uh, those people are getting. Too old between heavy quotation marks to play and buy games because they get busy with uh, other stuff. And now the people from my and Kovic on generation who grew up on the PlayStation 1 and the N64 are now getting in the space uh, and in the market space where we buy a lot of games so the market gets extremely profitable the the throwbacks will continue <gasps> tracing the real Sorry. history so we had the uh, all those pixel art games like 6v and then i don't know shovel knight more Oh yeah, yeah, Shovel Knight, that's a good one. I think Shovel Knight is more... SNES. I was trying to think of more... of simpler games that would emulate NES. Because um, that would come first, then you would get the SNES throwbacks. The, now you're getting early 3D throwbacks. Uh, the one... the spiritual successor of Castlevania. Um, Bloodstained. Uh, Dead Cells. The... Dead Cells. No, no. Dead Cells, yeah. But the the spin-offs from uh, Bloodstained are NES, SNES based. Not a clue on that title, but uh, I'll believe you. But yeah, now we're getting into early 3D or early console 3D throwbacks because the PC throwbacks kind of already happened. True. So it's it's PlayStation, but it's also N64 graphics too. I so saw mm -hmm. an N64-ish platformer taking after uh, like something between Mario and Banjo. There's the the Golden Eye throwback, Agent 64. Yeah, that one is on Steam. Got some uh, media attention. 
uh, if you dig through my blog, I don't remember exactly how it's called, but uh, I think last year I reviewed a small indie horror game around Halloween um, in PlayStation 1 graphics. But early PlayStation 1 graphics. I think there's also a game that's uh, a throwback to Turok. I, I think I saw it on Twitter. I can't remember the name for the life of me. Yeah. And also what I shared in our Discord where um, somebody demade, well, not completely demade, demade uh, Tomb Raider Legends in a silent uh, sort There was a lever there in that very corner that you just were in. In a silent sort of represents Tomb Raider 1. But like Anybody you... else notice that artifact on the capture? Uh, yeah, like in the not in the middle. It's moving. Yeah, it. There's a band. Like static that's effect. grainy. Yeah, staticky grainy. The door that just opened has another lever. Did he just commit Sudoku? Maybe. Uh... Right here. Man, that's some busy work. Opening a lever to open a door for another lever. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what is the cause of that band, the grainy band. Refresh rate? Maybe? And it's, it's an analog artifact, so I wonder if it's the cable or the capture card. Uh, is Most the, likely the cable. Is the cable, yes. Because I have it also on CRT. So, cable from the console? Because uh, if no. it's in both sources, it's got to be before any splitting that you do. No, because at first I have a splitter. I have, I mean, I have a switch. From that switch, uh, it goes into a splitter. So, <laughs> and from that splitter goes to the TV and uh, the capture card. Let, let the retro me just thing. say, as an IT admin who is also a retro game collector S hearing somebody say the word switch i'm like is it the network switch is it the nintendo switch or is it another kind of switch <laughs> no, and by a... the time i figure out what type of switch you mean always people are way ahead in their sentence i am not following anymore <laughs> Yeah, because uh, all my uh, consoles are uh, SCART and uh, I have a SCART switch, of course. The curse of synonyms. I don't think you're hitting him, you need to go closer. You think him or it? I mean, these days we need to be careful with gender. I don't think I care when it's uh, these uh, mutants, and also there's these creatures. Yeah, I agree there. Small medipack, just three oh, left. Camera, don't remind me that there is also switch cases in programming. Now my <laughs> mind is going to be even more messed up when I hear the word switch. Blue fuck off! Um, if you gave me a dollar every time we've heard this tonight, I'd have two dollars, which isn't a lot, but it's surprising that it's happened twice already. 
Uh, Clement, secret. Are you interested? Yes, yes. Jump into so the lava. So after you kill this to... guy, uh, uh, do do a roll so that you grab the the edge of the of this platform. Uh, and there's a platform underneath it that you can grab and then climb onto. Oh! Why didn't she grab it? What the hell? Whoa! Open, Lara! Oh, good. Oh, good. I need to restart the level. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry about that. Could this be a bug? No, uh... it's not listed. I mean, known bug. It's not listed. What the, the fuck? Did, the... Colors? What? Guess we're not getting that secret then. Yeah. But it's not listed, so is that something to report? Because that was like you didn't drop at an angle or anything. That was totally straight. That was a a guaranteed grab. Yet she didn't grab it. And I mean, she didn't grab even the first ledge, not even the second ledge. Yeah, so that was absolute bullshit. Okay. Neko, you have other collections to show us? I need I to replay. <laughs> I have a Neko. Uh, other collections show, yeah, if my Neko is staying here, uh, I mean... But currently I am kind of saving up money because I spend a bit too much these, uh, this summer for my gaming collection. I, I mean, I bought a whole new computer. And... Um, I also bought a new uh, Windows 98 computer. Well, not a new, a second hand, but... Uh... Are they expensive? So the, the Windows 98 machine in Belgium? Uh, depends. Depends. I mean, if you bought it with a voodoo card, I can understand, but otherwise... Something, something, when it's a brand, people ask ridiculously amount of money. I have, se I have seen Pantium 2, not with a voodoo card, just a Pantium 2. Um, with 64 mags of RAM going for 750 bucks that's just insane mm. interesting but mine is uh, an intel celeron uh, oh that's not those... a good hmm? processor that's not a good processor <laughs> well it's fine oh god it has to a little cash or no cash I guess level two cash is zero no celeron for Windows ninety eight it's fine bro uh, it depends what you are playing the first stage of Empire some roller coaster tycoon 3D games I mostly play on my Windows XP machines, which either have a Core 2 Duo or a Pentium 4. Besides, my pre my previous CPU was a Pentium 3, which is even weaker. How is uh, weaker than Pentium 2? Hmm? How is it uh, weaker? Then a Pentium 2 Celeron. 
No, no, a pension tree. A cellar, my Celeron has a higher clock speed. Uh, I don't think it uh, matters. I mean, I believe that the Pentium 3 is better than any Celeron. In my experience, I have the same performance. But now a Celeron had uh, many, uh, many generations also. So, uh, yeah, I was not... gonna say that the Celeron name was used for many years, so it depends on which exact one it is. Yeah, I, I to make a look comparison. Ah, ah, what is this? Ah, they got you. <laughs> oh god, where is the next uh, crystal? <laughs> After those uh, chompy boys, oh there should god. be a crystal coming up. Just look at the color switch. It's suddenly like a light switch. When you walk into the tunnel. Your dog a lab dog or not? Hmm? Is your dog a lab dog or not? What does it mean? I mean, does he come to cuddle a lot? Like, currently, like with Troy. Not to me. <laughs> Think it likes uh, other people better. Uh, I must say that this level uh, looks good. Very tasty. <laughs> now, what I also want to mention is now that we are in our late 20s, 30s, and 40s, this level isn't too scary anymore, but back in the day, children's imagination would run wild seeing these visuals. I mean, even today, of course, the graphics are dated, but the design is out there. I think there's a good reason why they didn't reproduce it in anniversary and they went for something much, much tamer. Basically just some glowing stone. Mm -hmm. None of the gore here. And I also think... Uh, still to this day, this design for Atlantis is pretty divisive. There's a lot of people who don't like it. Yeah, you would expect more blue since it's under the water. Insert joke about the screen here, but too lazy to make it. Um... That's true. This, this, this is, they call it Atlantis here, but it's not even really underwater, is it? Mm -hmm. Just a pyramid. It's more like aliens, to be honest. Ancient crystal aliens. skull. Because they they do the the weird pyramid trope. You know what this is like? It's like out of Aliens. Oh man, that's such a long time I've seen that movie, I, I barely remember it. Oh.
think it just exploded above your head outside the map or something. Yeah, Kovic and I were both confused on that. How far is it? It's one diagonal across. Do you think a standing jump is enough for this? Because that way you wouldn't overshoot, but I'm not sure. I really don't want you to die again. Whew. I think you just tickled your toe. <laughs> How many times do they use those slicing um, things? In this level? All the time. In the whole game, I mean. I think the, uh, the answer doesn't change all the time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that hole above your head, that's where you would come from if you were able to take the secret. Unfortunately, uh, we encountered an issue here. Uh, we encountered the open Lara tank. Yeah. Is this a standing jump or is it too high? I'm not sure. It that seems too high. too high. Let's first do safe crystal. That's close. Oh boy. Uh, the door is closed. So, no point going there yet. But there is this crevice here to your right. And you are meant to grab it and then drop down to the oh, opening. Oh, let's below. hope it works. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Standing jump and grab. Okay. Ooh. The safe crystal is behind the door, I think. Can I backtrack the after the, then to try the secret again? Uh, you should be. Unless you get yourself be bitten by the sliding doors. Step backwards. No. You're a standing jump. And now the, the egg should open and a flying enemy should spawn. Oh no! You didn't set up for the jump! No! My man! Man! Mm. Oh. Always uh, walk to the edge and one jump backwards. Uh, I got the impression that is uh, earlier. Damn, it's the fourth time. Or the third time. Well, fourth time, I guess. Too bad that in these late levels uh, they are very stingy with their safe crystals. This opening one is quite mean. And it gets a little better in like the middle part of this level and then they get stingy again. Blue wants me to tell you about the other guns. Uh, he has no ammo and he needs to save it for the boss fight, so... I was expecting that, but Blue mentioned it like twice or thrice in chat.
I'm quite shocked by how little Uzi ammo you have. That might be a problem. Although they do give you some drops towards the end of the level. Maybe you can work your way up to like at least 2000 or something. Well, I intend to, to use only the pistols for a while. For a while, I mean, this is a... You can still use, like, the shotgun and the magnums when the situation calls on it. If you have 2,000 Uzi ammo going into the final level, you are perfectly fine with finishing the game with that. And I'm probably Otherwise overestimating. it might be tricky. Yeah, so the, 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 um, the first boss is 800 Uzi bullets. And final one, I don't know how many, but... 12,000? 1,200? Maybe. I don't know, True. I don't think Natla is... I'm getting that... very tired. I don't think Natla is... So... Uh, uh, I don't think she has so much health. Because it felt to me like she died pretty fast. I wish I had myself, but I overrode it. Oh! The end Come of the on! Level. What? what the? Is the enemy pushing you, or are you just stuck there? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are not finishing the game tonight. What the fuck? Can you jump forward? No, because of the enemy. <laughs> and I cannot target it because it's too close. It's not a climate stream without finding junk. <laughs> and no, this is not on purpose. <laughs> uh, and you are okay, not even it's... taking damage, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, it's a restart. Yep. It's a restart. Looks, looks that way. How is Neko <laughs> doing? He's sleepy already? Yes, but I'm trying to stay awake. And please, the, the, don't feel like you need to rush or feel guilty uh, that I stay awake. It's my own choice here. Come on. I'm not even sure I'm making, uh, I'm making damage. Oh, because it's stuck in the freaking door. Very jank. There's also a an area which <laughs> I find it very interesting that was not censored at all in the German version. You mean to change the colors or what? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Just By the way... Anything. They did nothing. Which is good for me, but I found it surprising. Hello, Cobalt. Hello, welcome. Yeah, the comments in the chat are sometimes. Uh, during the last level of uh, unfinished business, I uh, made 100 saves <laughs> because you know 
Uh, it counts the number of saves. Uh, yeah, there are not so many games who do that. I know... Uh, not so many old... games that let you quick save these days, is there? Well, you have auto-saving every, every fart you take sometimes in games. Yeah, but not quick saves, not manual saves. It's always checkpoints mm -hmm. because of consoles. But still, it, it's like, it's literally like I say, sometimes it's like every fart you take. It's a quick save. I mean, uh, it's a checkpoint save. What? Uh, why do you say bef because consoles? Because I don't see the reason to keep <laughs> this, which was uh, something specific to the old consoles. Now they have an everything they need <laughs> to make quick saves and stuff like that. Yeah, but you just uh, usually don't have buttons, so you would need to open menus, and I guess that's just not convenient enough for quick saves which is why developers opt for auto saves how is the uh, quick uh, system of quick uh, quick saves on console depends on the game quake 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 one quake two That's i was gonna say that like night dive games they totally let you save but replay games you don't see it Because uh, the player needs to open the menu and save manually, it's just not streamlined enough, I guess. Mm -hmm. Now even the toe survived. Yeah, the enemy spawner might just be bugged, which is good for you. Did you get the ammo? Uh, where? It's on the floor on this tile. The answer is no. Oh, no. That would be such a, a cheap way to die if that um, blast just unattaches Lara once she is hanging from the platform. Yes. <laughs> Praise be. Uh, you want to try? Uh, you want to? Uh, you want me to try again that secret? Because I guess uh, it's the only moment, probably, when we can better. Yeah, wor wor worst case, you respawn, so might as well. I 
sites, I think now it's going to be easier to take. Oh, I forgot about this one. <laughs> Okay, so it worked. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was a problem with my controller. Didn't got the button. That's possible. I would like to change this controller, but also with a wireless one, and I don't think there are uh, any other solutions besides this one which is pretty old for the original Xbox thankfully it's not the clunky first edition <laughs> controllers it's not uh, even a Microsoft controller, it's a Logitech controller mm. Not even the one that uh, controlled the submarine. <laughs> I'm sorry, that wouldn't that was mean. I will be back in a second. Hmm. Will be a boulder here. Going down the slide. Ah. Okay. I will not take the secret again. No? Lever. Forget about this lever. No idea what it does. If you go left of the lever, can you climb out there? There's like a platform.
Where? To the left of the lever, if you go into the corner of the room. Ah, I see, it's too high. I thought you could climb out there, but it's too high. So you need to climb out back where you came from and jump across the the bronze slope because there's holes in it just like the last level that you need to traverse but I think once you step there a boulder will appear You could make the running jump here to skip the the tile. And make I think it. it avoids a boulder if you do this. So step back and do a running jump. It's too and much. It oh, no. Yeah. Now if you get to the top of the slope, there's a secret. Otherwise go towards the, the doors at the bottom. Standing jump. Okay. I don't think there are any spikes, so you could just go forwards on this tile and slide down, right? And maybe jump across the water? Does that work? Oh, but this one wasn't open? It's timed? I don't know. But I think this works just as well. Uh, ooh, invisible wall. Yeah. I don't think the jump across the water is intended, but it works. Uh, I guess it's timed. Because I I remember to, it was opened after I used the lever. Ah, oh, could be. Oh. Ah, there's ammo on the floor. What did this lever do? Good question. Okay, I, I guess I'll look at the, what the guide says. Okay. Oh yeah, you were right, it is timed. A standing jump from here and you can make it. Crystal! Okay. 
Can I make this jump? Uh, if you go to the tile on the left, you can. Thing on this tile, the opposite side is a little too high. Oh, she didn't even have to grab. And we get making progress, Marine. Great. Why are you going back? Uh, ah, I uh, I got the impression that it's a level there, but it's in the other door. But we still have a level here. It's not accessible. Yeah, we skipped that one because of the jump across the water. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is a classic uh, test if the player is paying attention. Just a random hole. And Clement is paying attention. Of course he is. <laughs> this is like cheating. No. Yes. I'm all. And Lara struggling to pick up items on the water. So, did I miss something while I was gone? Uh, well, we went from one crystal to the next. So that's pretty nice. Go through the door, you just opened it, no? Hey, now we're back in the... <gasps> okay. <laughs> Trolled... Uh, back in the central... Vertical shaft. There we go, two ammo clips in one. That's how you get to the 2000 ammo. Now, I really want to find a very troll heavy uh, Tomb Raider custom level and to let it be played by Clement on the next Tomb Raider stream. Oh! What is that? <laughs> uh, not grabbing. That's literally what was that. Yeah, but I did what I was supposed to do, I guess. Well, well, well. Here we go again with the not grabbing. Um. Don't get cheese kebabbed. Thank you. Perfect. So, if uh, we are gonna do another Tomb Raider stream, uh, what should it be? I mean, we have uh, a lot of options. <laughs> hey, apart yeah. from finishing the game? <laughs> <laughs> you don't uh, have any hopes that we'll finish it tonight? I don't, I don't know, we're three uh, hours and 40 minutes in, so... It's, uh, it's qu still quite a way, so... Depends on how long we go. Yeah, how long I can keep myself awake. 
And I didn't want to be the ruiner when we are like in the final level. Uh, penultimate. Yeah, oh, okay. It's unavoidable, this one, I guess. Uh, I think if you do a roll here, you should be fine. No. Okay, that's... Me thinks that's bugged. Because this is very mean. Me set things that as well. Uh, Cobalt, um, I don't know if either Kovic or Clement has work in the morning, but I am an IT admin in two art colleges, and today was the first school day of the new school year, and for any teacher or um, school personnel, it's exhausting these first school days. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, this room. I remember this room. Well, you should. You just finished the game. <laughs> it's it's a notable room. Lots of enemies. Yes, it's Friday, though, well, technically Saturday at the moment. Anyway, uh, let's say if we finish this game, uh, what uh, would you prefer lost, to stream? Uh, lost levels, what am I saying? Uh... No, no, I mean uh, Tomb Raider. What should it be, the another uh, Tomb Raider stream? Unfinished business? complete the first game maybe okay I just finished that one and after uh, that surely you... that would be a speed run then no oh, for sure yeah. <laughs> yeah a world record speed run um, and after that maybe some custom levels of in the Tomb Raider 1 engine right and then there. do this same the same story for Tomb Raider 2 series uh... Angel of Darkness uh, we play games in order unfinished business glitches 14 minutes 38 seconds so you uh, do it in 10 minutes my playthrough was six hour but uh, I mean no <laughs> Six hours was on save, so it was much more, <laughs> actually. So this is timed also. Oh, okay. I don't think it's timed. Oh, you just press all of the levers. That's all there is to it. Uh, press all of them once. Uh, you're sure? It seems there's like, three uh, doors that you need to pull. And it opens three doors. It, it seems that one of the doors is still closed. I see one lever that's not open. So. Now we can take a swim. Uh, okay. Unfinished business. Uh, the first levels uh, I didn't really like too much. Wasn't the unfinished business the one where you slide in after a helicopter is following you or dropping you off? You slide into a big water lake? No, 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 that's the second one. It's Tomb Raider 2. 
Okay. It's uh, pretty well known that uh, segments, let's say, from the beginning. As proven by me remembering it. <laughs> uh, not this Aren't way. Aren't you going... Yeah. The unfinished business speedrun is quite funny because apparently uh, the first level is two minutes, the third level is three minutes, the fourth level is three minutes, and the second level is the majority of the speedrun at eight minutes. Lal. Uh, but uh, did you look into it to try to play it on PlayStation 1? The port? Uh, There's a I, port for PS1? It, yeah, it's a homebrew. Okay, this is the this is the puzzle with uh, that I usually skip with the boulder. I think you don't want to go through this door. Okay. I think you first want to go through the corridor. So I don't press this level. No, no. Because I think if you do that, the boulder will block your paw. Okay, but... Or maybe use the lever, but don't go forwards. You know what, let me just check the guide. For this one. Oh. Huh? It's not top one. Or if this is the only way. I see. Uh, there's a way to reset the boulder magically. Uh, pull the block first. Pull the block first. Set up the block to where it would uh, block the boulder. There's some bloom here going on. What is this? Lara's getting holy. Okay. Yeah, now you go through this, and I think there's a lever that will reset the trap. This one, probably. Does it make sense? No. Nope. It's stupid. Does it? <laughs> Is it good game design? No. Nope. Debatable. My money is on no. Mm -hmm. Where do all these guys keep coming from? That's some nice explosion effects, bruh. Come on. That was a loud safe crystal in this level, I think. The sounds that they make with the wings it sounds like they're chugging something. Chugging yeah. a drink. Man, this is so bugged. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> 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 
Oh yeah, and this, the jump coming up is quite... Can be tricky. Let's play it that way. Okay. Make sure you are standing on the tile that's opposite the, the red stripe. Because otherwise the slope is too steep and you will slide off. And uh, you need to jump at the end of the slope so that you don't grab. You need to land on your feet. Uh, that that one on the left? The, the, one of the red stripes in the middle. Mm -hmm. As opposed to the, the white ones. The living tissue ones, not yep. the... Uh... the pulsating ones. Mm -hmm. Basically, the stumple is alive. Wait, wait, jump. But uh, why uh, do I have only 400 Uzi? Is standard or... Uh, I mean you get back all your uh, ammo? Or this is... Uh, intended? You should keep all your ammo even though they take away your weapons. Because they just take the weapons. But I think at this point you have a little more than... Uh, 400 because you collected some yeah but uh, I remember that I had um, more uh, health packages also maybe it's something that uh, open Lara doesn't count maybe and uh, as a matter of fact uh, I remember the discussion about uh, the ammo that you get after that level in the open ladder. This looks like a skate ramp to me. Or am I the only one? <laughs> that was a lucky heal. I think it was one or two frames away from that. That was a great heal. What a save! Indeed. <laughs> okay. It's all too sloped, so you need to make a diagonal jump. Uh, here? Yeah. Um. And so another one. Diagonal and diagonal apparently this city. one... Sorry? It's Diagonal Jump City. Yeah, and I thought I was smart doing this one. This is actually intended, apparently. This diagonal jump. That ball popping open made me think for a moment, Clement overshot. <laughs> oh! Uh, the exploding damage they do is 
insane. Sound effect. You got saved by the egg holder, because the model bumped you backwards. Uh, yeah, the, this uh, wow. this opening is actually bait. Uh, go back down to the the platform that you landed on and jump from there to that white piece that will be opposite you. The white tile, I should say. These groaning sound effects are so good. Yeah, okay, it's a, it's, it's a diagonal jump, but there's that tile. It looks sloped, but it's not. I remember this enemy. You have no place to maneuver here. Ah. Ooh. Yeah. I was so scared you died, but it's just the health bar blinking. This is too sloped again. So you need to jump now to the other side using uh, a piece of this fleshy bridge that's jutting out. Just on the right edge of your screen, there's one tile jutting out to your right. To your right. Uh, that one? Yeah. Okay. Right, and now watch out, because if you just follow the walkway, there are two tiles that are too sloped, and you will slide down, so you need to jump across. It's coming up. Yeah, the next two tiles, after this one. They are too sloped. This I is died here. extreme trolling. Oh yes. Oh yes. And I think you pull this block. And you should get a safe crystal soon-ish. Oh, at least this one is working properly so you can avoid it. With a roll? Or a roll, maybe. Okay, and now I think you want to jump right. Uh... Where that enemy was. Too sloped? No, it isn't. Nice. Okay. So it's a nice and comfy running jump. <gasps> what? What the? Damn. I'm doing my best. I call it quits on the next save crystal. But how short will the next stream then be? Uh, we can call it quits now. <laughs> uh, yeah, Neko, if uh, it's too late, we can uh, stop and uh, I will prepare eventually. Um,
the unfinished well, business i mean to start the unfinished business immediately or, on the same stream yeah or we could do a short mini stream tomorrow before doom or middle next week like we planned the co-op originally to be on wednesday uh... yeah but i i if we would finish then Tomb Raider, I would combine it with um, another part since I think a small, small stream for a one-off, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, so this is an ammo, I wasn't expecting. I mean, I was pretty sure that we'll finish it tonight. Things can but, happen, man. Yeah. But uh, like, I guess I'm wrong. Like I always say, things can happen. We always could do a, a very minor stream so, uh, Sunday evening or something. Oh, we will see. Let's wait how long I can keep myself awake before I really uh... eat. Can you stay just to try uh, the next crystal? That's what I'm doing, man. Okay. I'm even trying to for the la for finishing the game, but I will say when it's getting danger dangerously to my nodding asleep level. <laughs> anyway, so uh, initially tomorrow uh, uh, we should have stream. Uh, the lost levels of Doom 64, mm. but uh... oh god, I guess we'll finish it. <laughs> that was unlucky. Yeah, I forgot. To so there is the next crystal. Then there is one more, two more. I'm looking at so next more. <laughs> so technically, we uh -huh. are still here for. If we didn't don't tie for an hour, uh, guess so. Yeah. Yeah, an hour. That's not possible. <laughs> uh, anyway, I was uh, starting to. Oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, tell you that uh, we'll skip for now the Doom 64 stream because uh, we already finished the campaign and uh, some of us are fed up <laughs> with it so we'll uh, try something more interesting for all of us because uh, it's something that we can uh, participate all the three of us uh, we'll play the new campaign for uh, Quake 2 Call of the Machine yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> and depending on uh, what we decide, it's possible we first finish Tomb Raider, maybe. Or uh, I don't find think, another uh, spot. No, maybe uh, find another spot. Or, um, I don't know Sunday or next week. Uh, yeah, if you're worried that just finishing Tomb Raider is too short, you can give it a similar time slot like the Quake 264 campaign. Yeah, we can do a mid-week uh, stream with the end of, I mean, on Wednesday, for example, mm -hmm. to keep our uh, schedule to start the new uh, games. Yeah, the new. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not sure we'll finish uh, Quake Two. <laughs> I think we will actually. Yeah, in one stream tomorrow. Yeah, yeah I think we can do that. Uh, it's doable to do the night because uh, when I put it on Discord uh, some of the people there said that it's impossible <laughs> and I mean impossible it will be uh, guys, save load guys. save load guys we have a COVID we no, have but a COVID I guess the important thing is that uh, we have the same enemies no? and uh, basically we have more ammunition yeah, with three players you have triple ammo, so... Yeah. Or triple firepower. 
I think yeah. Nightmare is fine. I, I, I think Clement and I have a similar playstyle when it comes to shooters. I think we are both classified as tanks. Shooting everything that moves. <laughs> yeah, mean... Of course you do that, that's what you do in those types of games. <laughs> yeah, uh, me on any type of game. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you come here. <laughs> now he gets stuck. Good one, good one. Ah! Was it the safest move not to kill the enemy? I wonder. Yeah, you will have a more clear shot when you're up there. There's two of them! Two?! <laughs> okay. We almost said it exactly at the same moment, Kofi. Great minds, think alike. Indeed. All right, what do we have here? Two enemies. And a 360. One being very glitchy in, into the wall. I wish he would shoot the other he, one, he, <laughs> but he... auto aim says otherwise. Yeah. Oh my god, this is Rotate so a little bit so that you have more uh, distance for the shots. All right. I would heal. A small right. heal. No. Uh, okay, let's fine. see here. Yeah, yeah, he's happy. What about this jump? You can go to the edge, do a like the backwards, classic backwards jump, and then do one more small step backwards to guarantee you will get a jump, but it will also increase the distance. But I think you don't need to grab this anyway, since I think it's two blocks. So I think if you do the extra safety step, you would uh, still be fine. No, backwards, backwards. So now you do two steps. Now you should have guaranteed enough distance to make a jump. Unless the problem wasn't the uh, gameplay, but the button. Oh, okay. But... It definitely keep you stacked with resources in the final levels. Something, something foreshadowing. <laughs> okay, another flyer here. It's uh, tradition at this point. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Did they break tradition? Ah, no, there he is. There he is! Being silly as always. Uh, 
apologies for that yawn. I thought it was Lara. It was me. Alright, another one of these jumps, but no teeth this time, I hope. Okay, give me a crystal. Yes. <laughs> yeah, thank you. The game list. Neko, can we go further or? Mm -hmm. uh, no. No. Uh, the more we force now, the shorter the next stream. Neko, so you need to say stop. <laughs> and I'm I will... not saying anything. I... On purpose. I'm surprised I would stop at this moment to balance the content for next time. But 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 chat chat is shouting let the man sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let the man sleep on stream, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! You know what? <laughs> I mean, it's not the first time. <laughs> okay. Just choke me away. Are, you, uh, are we going for the nuclear solution of of just letting Neko go to bed and I can stay up for oh, uh, for four a.m. with no 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 <laughs> we'll stop uh, okay we'll finish it uh, next week uh, probably on uh, Wednesday Neko yeah and and maybe. Um... I will try to look uh, tomorrow or on Sunday for like a short um, level editor level if we feel it's too short. Uh, my, my proposal would be to, uh, if you want to take this route and not uh, start mm -hmm. the unfinished business, uh, to try uh, mm -hmm. the demake for the legend. It's oh, something okay. uh, yeah. pretty new and uh, is not that long. That's... I mean, uh, only four levels. That gets a Jonesy thumbs up of approval. Of or course, Neko. Uh, if Nek, uh, if Kovic wants also. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, one of the more interesting projects on the level editor. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of interesting projects, but you need to um, skim through some garbage that like people made like to be funny i i played a few levels in the level editor where it's just a giant box full of endgame bosses <laughs> and then it's the objective is like the halo odst campaign like survive motherfucker um even that uh, campaign that i uh, sent you is uh, made this year in july for the tomb raider one and the uh, it has uh, uh, pretty good reviews. Mm -hmm. yeah. Usually, and I don't play uh, level packs under eight point five. It's nine point four, I guess. This one. Yeah, that's pretty high for those standards. Uh, yeah, and uh, I found it interesting that um, uh, I told you it has a lot of uh, new textures. And uh, is uh, is looking uh, pretty different. Uh, uh, you are playing one by Black Wolf, and he is a pretty damn amazing creator. I, I don't know. I'm just uh, I'm just starting uh, <laughs> into true, this. True, but uh, take it from me, it's not his first level pack, or her. I don't remember it was a him or her. Doesn't matter. Um. Okay. Um. So tomorrow we have a uh, quick two. 
uh, Call of the Machine, Nightmare, three player co-op. And, uh, With one guy who never played the game. He didn't even <laughs> finish Quake 2. <laughs> so <laughs> it will be interesting. Uh, and uh, next week, midweek, we'll finish uh, this one and maybe uh, do the Legend remake, the Tomb Raider or Legend with PlayStation One graphics. Another surprise level editor level. Yeah, and uh, next week uh, we'll start uh, Shadow Man remaster and uh, the FPS. No, the Hrot Hrot Hrot. I don't. <laughs> How is it? Hrot, the hrot. first attempt was the best one you made. Hrot. 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 Nah, <laughs> the term is like, would... it's like a pig. <laughs> yeah, if you say hrot, it's still better than uh, like hrot. hrot or whatever. Hrot. Okay, uh, hrot. If I would pronounce it in a Dutch way, it's um, hrot. Perfect. Yeah, that sounds good. That, 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 that's pronouncing it very Dutch. Yeah, so this is the... Oh, pe people are excited for Shadow Man in chat. And I think this uh, boomer shooter is also uh, something really interesting. And uh, we, mm -hmm. uh, we need to tell you all that uh, Kovic is the world record uh, speedrunner for that one. And uh, is the new mm -hmm. thingy for this uh, year in terms of uh, boomer shooters. It's uh, the socialist boomer shooter. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> so I can wait. Lots to play of that references one. there. Uh, yeah, it will be a historical <laughs> stream. <laughs> yeah. So historical, he might be only speaking Czech. Uh... <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being with us. Thank you, Kovic and Neko. Uh, check the uh, blog from Neko. You have the address there and also in the description. He just uh, published a new article. Go read it. And uh, yeah, the, the gist you... of the article I published is uh, usually in the past I wrote weekly articles, but due to writing burnout, I toned that down to two articles a, uh, two articles a week, <laughs> two articles a month. And in the past, I always felt guilty when I was replaying games, but I am in a very nostalgic mood lately. And um, I just wanted to talk about a few games from my childhood I played in uh, my uh, gaming music article style. Yeah, so it's an article... Uh in which you describe some of the best uh, music experiences that you, you had <coughs> in games. The 29th of uh, <laughs> that series. Yeah, it's another way to find uh, uh, games. True, true. These kind of uh, articles and uh, or tops and uh, <coughs> with the uh, music. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want to see some of the records, uh, check the YouTube uh, channel of uh, the Kovic and uh, if you want to uh, see him live uh, subscribe to the Twitch channel and uh, you'll uh, be there to check his uh, records speedruns mm -hmm. uh, the Hrot one is on YouTube no? the record the speedrunning I mean definitely on YouTube I don't know if it's publicized I, I toned down uploading or like public. Oh yeah, it is. It is. I guess because it's a, it's a good one. But yeah, I I don't really publicize all the runs these days. I toned it down to ones that I at least have commentary or are like really notable ones. Because I I don't know. I felt like I was spamming it too much sometimes. But uh, they are accessible if you go to the speedrun dot com. Yeah. And, always. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Also, okay. kind of have to because proof standards. Okay. Uh, good night, everyone, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.